Guys, I'm live early. It's 10 a.m. Y'all can never say I'm late again. My voice is just about back. It's like getting there. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Yo. Good morning. Good afternoon. It is 10 a.m. for me. 10.01, actually. I am live early because I have things to do later today. We are continuing <coughs> our playthrough of Detective Pikachu. Last time we played, we had seemingly beat the mystery, or beat, solved the mystery of the missing jewel, but we did not because the stupid goddamn bird stole it again. It seems like something nefarious is going on, so we're gonna dive back into it. My voice is like not 99% back. Like, I'm not congested at all. Like, it's everything sounds muffled to me still. We'll see how long my voice lasts today. Um, because <laughs> the last time I played this, I played for like four hours straight because I wanted to like get through the story, but it took four hours when I thought like the mission would take two so i guess the format for the game is like there's gonna be side quests in between but i guess the main quests are hours and hours of content i did read online and it said like it should take about 12 hours to beat the game but since i'm like audibly reading out all the dialogue it's probably gonna take me i assume a little over like maybe one and a half times more the amount of time i don't know i promised i would play this all the way on stream Everybody has been shitting on Detective Pikachu. Like, yeah, the graphics aren't the best, but I still think it's fun. I'm a sucker for mysteries. It's also cause like, I watched Inside, no, not Inside Out. <laughs> What's it called? Inside Out is the Disney movie. I need to look it up. No, I watched Knives Out, <laughs> which is like a detective, <laughs> it's a murder mystery movie, right? And then I just watch Glass Onion, so like I'm like in the mystery murder mood. I don't know. I'm a sucker for story, I'm a sucker for dialogue. I like doing voices. Everybody else says the game is mid. Which yeah, I guess it's not worth like a full fifty dollars, but I bet a little kid would like the game. I'm the little kid at heart. Okay. Let's get to it. I don't know why I'm leaning to my screen. I just think it's funny. <clears throat> Dude, it's so weird seeing my camera flip still. It's... It is wild. Okay. <laughs> it's so weird. <clears throat> okay. I need to practice my Pikachu. He's like, hey. Okay, I, I think that's it. Because I was going a bit too deep. I think he's more like, hey, I'm walking you. Okay, let's get back into it. Yeah, four hours, 14 minutes. Oh my god. Insanity. Okay, so last time, we had just gotten back. Everybody's at home for some reason. We we're supposed to riz up the mayor's daughter, but now mom is home, so that's coming out. <laughs> These are the medals we received. They're proof of all the good we've done with our great detective work. Let's keep it up, Tim. Okay, I think I like that for Pikachu. Right. You really don't need to worry about it, Tim. Huh? Worry about what? Bringing Rachel home, of course! Um, Mom, I think you might be misunderstanding something. I'm making enough food for eight people or so. So she can eat as much as she likes. Oh, you're talking about dinner. Wait, eight people? Isn't that a bit much? Yeah, why is she making so much? Jeez. That's like my meal prep. <clears throat> yep. So, Rachel's not your girlfriend? Nope, just a classmate. She came by to talk to me about something. Something like how she's your girlfriend? Sophia, she's not my girlfriend. 
Ah, the girl Sophia. Tim just needs a gentle shove to get things moving. Don't you start too, Pikachu. <laughs> this is what I hated in school. Like, any any boy I would talk to, people were like, Ooh, is that your boyfriend? Yes. It's like, no. I don't get why people automatically assume that either. Rachel Myers. It must be nice spending time with your mother and sister. It is, yeah. But hey, didn't you want to discuss something? Oh, um, yeah. Sorry, it must feel awkward to talk about it with so many people. No, it's not that. Chatting with you and your family has actually helped a lot. Trust me, it can wait. Really? Well, if you're sure. Right. Okay. Dinner's ready, everyone. <sighs> well, I should probably get going. Come now, why don't you stay and eat with us? Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, you heard them. What do you say? I mean, who could turn down an invitation like that? Yay! Eat up, everyone. I really outdid myself this time. Wow! Looks amazing! Dude, that's some craft mac Thank and you, cheese. Mom. Mom made her special mac and cheese for us. So this is the dish that Harry kept raving about, huh? <laughs> Oh, this is incredible! Good, huh? Mm. <laughs> He'll be your Pikachu. <gasps> she poisoned him! I knew we could never trust a mother. Okay, I did not see that coming. <laughs> is the R back? I know nothing about the lore from the first game. Anti-Pikachu unlocked? Irene. We need to talk. What is it? I want a divorce. What? Are you joking? Take care of Tim and Sophia for me. Oh my god, it's a drama Where is now. This coming from? I'm sorry. I think he left. He had to run away. He's hiding by there choice. There must be some reason. I'm sorry, Irene. Harry. I had no idea. Uh. <laughs> Please let this Are be like a okay, prime time you? drama. You had me worried suddenly fainting like that. Uh, I fainted? Yes. Okay, I had no idea it would go that way. I'm like intrigued now. Wait, so Harry is a divorced dad. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. It looks like Pikachu's recovered. Yeah, I think he's okay now. So, Rachel, do you feel okay talking about that problem you had now? No, that's okay. Are you sure? You don't have to keep it bottled up. I had so much fun with you all that it's just not bothering me anymore. We'll discuss, we'll discuss it next time, okay? Sure. In that case, mind if I ask you something instead? By all means, I'd be honored to help a great detective. Do you happen to know anyone who knows a lot about jewels? Apparently the jewel that was stolen in today's case was really special. I could use some more information to help me track it down. Hmm. Well, one of my professors is a specialist in mineral archaeology. I could introduce you to him if you like. Really? Could you please? That would be a huge help. Sure, I'll sort it out when I get home tonight. How should I contact you? Why don't we meet at the Hi Hat Cafe tomorrow morning? Sounds good. See you then. It's a date. Easy. Hey. 
Feeling better? Yeah, I guess. Pikachu. Huh? What's that? Mewtwo. You too! There is something the two of you must know. When I was in my cave a few days ago, I was attacked by several Pokémon. Yeah, we saw on the news. No matter how many times I overpowered them, they didn't seem to feel a thing. It's aliens. Are again? No. These Pokémon had no will of their own, as if something was controlling them. As for Harry... Harry? Dude, it's just Beedrill. Mewtwo was like, like one of the more powerful what? Pokemon. Those lights, like the one we saw in Cramorant. You think the two are related somehow? Who would win, I'd a Mewtwo say, or a hundred Beedrill? Finding the Aurora Drop may be the key to solving this mystery. Yeah, let's follow up on that. <laughs> Dude, that camera shot. <laughs> It's the scientist. It has to the be. White lab stole the Aurora okay. drop. The swarm of Beedrill that attacked Mewtwo. They both had glowing devices stuck to them. After hearing Mewtwo say my dad's name, I think if I investigate the Aurora drop, that I might get closer to finding him. Hmm. Hi, Wheel. Welcome in. I saw your joke. <laughs> I didn't want to repeat it. Bye, Wheel. Can we get some Mios? <laughs> also, not the bees is such a service level joke. I will never make the joke ever. Delete the clips where I have made said joke. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. The next morning. Hey. Okay, today we're gonna find out more about the Aurora Drop, right? Yeah. Rachel said she'd introduce me to a professor from Rhyme University. We've still got a little time before we're supposed to meet her at the High Hat Cafe, though. Your family doesn't visit that often. Why don't you chat with them a bit before you head out? Yeah, I know, Pikachu. Pikachu? <laughs> I, know, I don't know if I sound, like, gravelly still. But I, I kind of sound like Ash. You know how when he was- the seasons where he's like hitting puberty? It's like, Pikachu! <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh, I see the newspaper's arrived. You subscribe to a newspaper, Tim? Yeah, it's Rhyme City's daily paper. You never used- you never used to read the paper when you lived at home. What changed? Well, I'm a college student now. I thought I should read the newspaper at least. Well, aren't you mature? What are you doing, Tim? Trying to look cool or something? I'm the one who suggested that you start getting the newspaper, you know. As a detective, it's important to be gathering information at all times. I'm sure there's a lot going on every day in a city as big as this one. Checking the newspaper regularly is a good idea. Your mom knows what she's talking about, Tim. <clears throat> okay, the newspaper. Tim and Pikachu's activities will be reported in the newspaper the day after a case is solved. Try reading the paper on the table. So, what are we waiting for? Let's read that newspaper. You think the human designs are kind of scary? I think it's the lighting. Everything kind of looks like clay. Like, it looks like a... Like, everything looks flat. It looks very weird, in my opinion. Like, it looks like the actual models don't have a lot of shading on on them. Like, it's fully reliant on the environment lighting. It looks like if I turn shadows off to get better frame rate. Yes, that's the best analogy. It looks like it's supposed to be low, like, quality. <laughs> Oh, it's in Japanese. Or no, it's in Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much. Oh, the 
these are some of the side quests I did too. Hmm. Looks like they still haven't found the Aurora Drop. Inspector Holly and his team have been searching for the jewel in Cremorant, but there's been no progress on either front. Speaking of Cremorant, he was acting really weird then, wasn't he? According to the article, even Turner didn't know why he acted like that. So, Turner didn't order Cremorant to swallow the jewel and escape? Hmm, something's really fishy about this whole thing. <clears throat> The heroic Lollipop saves partner. The article's about a woman who got injured inside her house and couldn't move. It says her Lollipop went outside and howled to alert the neighbors. Oh, that's a sweet story. Hey, wait. Look at this photo. I cannot remember the band name. Look at this photograph. Dude, I cannot remember which... That's the only part. That's legit the only part of this song I know. <laughs> I keep on wanting to say Smash Mouth, but I know it's not. <laughs> Isn't that the woman we met yesterday? The one whose lily pup ran off? Let me see. You're right. We met her in front of the dentist's residence. Her lily pup was a pretty shy guy who preferred quiet places. Apparently he kept barking and howling until the neighbors finally noticed. I guess he gathered up all his courage to help his beloved partner. Hmm. It's almost like his personality shifted. With the R? <laughs> Apparently a new medicine has been developed using Rimbombi's pollen puffs. Makes sense. Rimbombi makes lots of different kinds of pollen puffs. I heard their pollen puffs have different effects based on the flowers the nectar and pollen came from. I bet how they mix ingredients could be applied to human medicine too. I wonder what kind of pollen puffs that Rimbombi was making yesterday. It might come up with something really surprising. But first, those little cute fly need to learn how to gather nectar properly. <coughs> Community excitement builds a s builds as soccer popularity booms. Mm -hmm. Looks like community soccer clubs have gotten pretty popular lately. Apparently, players can participate alongside their partner Pokemon. The article says the crowd goes wild at every match, watching the incredible power of Pokemon and their teamwork with their partners. It's getting rave reviews from both players and audience members. So that's why that boy yesterday was looking for a Pokemon to play soccer with. Do you think he and Rubbo would make a good team? I'm sure they will. Didn't you see how much fun they are having practicing together? Daily crossword. Mm -hmm. I wonder what today's crossword is like. It's surprisingly challenging, so I look forward to it every day. The crosswords are written by readers? Wow, I'm impressed by the people who can make these. Okay, Tim, let's fill it out. Let's see. This Pokemon catches prey with its long tongue. That'd be Lickitung. It's got the right number of letters and everything. This Pokemon uses its cute looks to put you off of your guard so it can steal from you. Per Lily. Oh, that's close. Meowth? No, not enough letters. Per Leon, then? This Pokemon always moves together in a well-coordinated group. Oh, I'm clueless. It's a new Pokemon. I don't know. Hmm... Based on the squares we've already filled in, I'm guessing this one has got to be Phalanx. Hey, Pikachu? I feel like we've heard these hints before. Yeah, you're right. This puzzle, mu this puzzle must have been... Puzzle, puzzle. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you're right. This puzzle must have been created by a certain quiz professor. That's cute. That is like a little recap after every mission of what you did previously. This is an actual apple, right? Not an applin? It's just a normal apple, but it sure is hard to tell them apart. No, it's easy. One has a little worm in it. Like, you gotta be D-U-M to not be able to tell the difference. Right. Good morning, Mom. Did you sleep okay last night? Yes, just fine, thanks. You have classes today, don't you? I'm actually hanging out for an important investigation this morning. Once you're on a case, that's all you can think about. Just like your father. Good grief. Oh, Mom. 
I don't suppose you've heard from Dad at all. I certainly would have told you if I had. Yeah, that's true. Your wife sure loves you, Harry. Must be nice. <laughs> Dude, Pikachu is the divorced dad now. Oh. <clears throat> the morning news is about to start. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? This is GNN News. Oh my god, CNN. Mayor Myers released a statement today expressing hope that the city council would pass the Pokemon friendship bill. Dude, she looks the like an AI. The mayor is planning to deliver a speech today to rally support for the bill from the citizens of Rhine City. Now, in other news, local detective Tim Goodman, along with his partner Pikachu, received medals from Mayor Myers in recognition of their service. These great detectives have solved many cases throughout Rhine City. Together, these two are a shining example of Rhine City. Why do they you. still have VHS tapes? We wish tapes. them well in their future endeavors. Check it out. We're famous. This is kind of embarrassing. Yeah, the news just docks them. <laughs> Pikachu isn't our stepdad. He's the dad that stepped up. Could not have said it any better. <clears throat> I wonder if, like, Tim makes money as a detective, or is he just, like, doing volunteer work? Is this just, like, how he has fun? <laughs> just solving crimes? It feels weird to be in the spotlight like this. They're saying good things about us. You're allowed to be pleased by that, Tim. Sounds like the mayor is going to give a speech about the Pokemon Friendship Bill, too. Mayor Myers is Rachel's father. I can't imagine what it's like having the mayor as your dad. Why don't you ask her and then ask her on a date? Yep. Hey, Tim. Hmm? That Pikachu, he seems kind of odd, don't you think? What do you mean? He is, isn't he? I've never seen They're a Pikachu to us. that drinks coffee before. Not bad. You have a good eye for detail. <laughs> that seems so stupid. <laughs> They're like, hmm, Pikachu's kind of weird, isn't he? Back to normal. Tim's in college, so I might get something of scholarships. Yeah, it's probably like an internship thing. <clears throat> Which I do think internships are a scam. You should be paid in full for internships. <laughs> Your Pikachu is so funny. Funny, not cute. The way Sophia reacts to stuff is a bit different from everyone else. That's my little sister. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. We should get going. While we're out, I want to buy more coffee beans. Our supply is running low. Okay, okay. Your usual dark roast, right? Anyway, we're heading out now. Bye! Have a nice day! Damn, my mom didn't even say bye. She hates us. Hmm. You sure we were supposed to meet Rachel in front of the hi hat Cafe? Yeah, she should be here by now. I wonder what's keeping her. Please, Papa, just listen to me. That sounded like Rachel. Why don't you understand, Papa? Pokemon don't need to be managed. The people who use them to commit crimes are the real problem. Rachel, Classic no matter how many times we have dyed hair and libertarian daughter. Change my mind. You never listen. <laughs> Do we think chocolate could mark Pikachu since he's able to have coffee? No, I think Pikachu is a hybrid. Don't ask how he was made. <laughs> you know what I will ask you guys to do? Um, follow, because we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes. 
And you get to type in chat. Smile. <clears throat> Is everything okay? Let's... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's just go inside. Excuse me. What were you and your dad talking about? The Pokemon Friendship Bill. Ah, uh, they mentioned that on the news. Said it was a bill to help Pokemon or something. I happened to read the actual text of the bill in Papa's study the other day. The one phrase that kept popping up through the whole thing was to monitor and manage Pokemon. It's pretty much a friendship bill in name only. I can't believe he tried to deprive Pokemon of their freedom. Papa's seriously changed. So, you're against your father's bill? Pokemon should be able to live freely. They don't need to be managed. Even during the R incident, Pokemon were the victims. It was cruel people who were responsible. Sorry. This isn't what we're here to discuss. This is what you wanted to talk about yesterday, isn't it? I just wanted someone to listen to me. I'm glad I could talk to you about it, Tim. I'm always happy to lend an ear. But are you so sure you don't need any other help? Yes, I'm I'm fine now, really. Let's get to the real top topic of the day. The jewel. That's right. Yesterday you said you could introduce me to a professor from Rhyme University. Yes, Professor Gordon. He's a leading figure in the field of mineral archaeology. He researches the connections between minerals and ancient civilizations. I figured he could probably tell us something about that jewel. <clears throat> right now, though, he's conducting research at the Southern Ruins. We'll have to travel quite a ways to see him. Yeah, those ruins are pretty far from here. Fieldwork is a huge part of mineral archaeology. Once the professor sets out, he usually doesn't come back for several months. How is he prof- <laughs> Dude, how is he a professor then? Isn't he supposed to be teaching? <laughs> what? Yeah, the R incident is lore from the first game. Apparently, it made, like, Pokemon go berserk. But I don't know anything else about the first game. Sounds like we better go meet him there then. Yeah, who knows how long we'd be waiting if we just stay here. Okay, we better get going if we want to get there before sundown. Huh? You're coming too, Rachel? I mean, it's not like you actually know Professor Gordon. I'm the one taking his class. Besides, I think it'll be fun to help a great detective out with a case. Hey, this isn't all fun and games, you know. The fabled or Aurora. Oh no, Pokemon! The Southern Ruins. Finally out of the city. Huh? Why is it snowing? Just what's going on here? Oh, it's freezing cold. Is this global it's just warming? Here in this specific area. Hmm. Can't Frostlass, Frostlass make like literal snowstorms? She's probably just, like, having a meltdown. So, it's only snowing around the ruins. No way that's normal. For now, let's find the professor. He may be able to tell us something about all this. Good plan. The ruins are just up this hill. We should be able to find him there. Just up the hill? Okay, let's go, Tim. <laughs> Wait, that voice was totally wrong. <laughs> The ruins are just up the hill, but getting to them looks a little exhausting. Are you tired, Rachel? Please don't push yourself too hard. Don't worry, I'm fine. Go on ahead, I'll catch up to you soon. Oh. Hey Tim, where are you going? We got things to do here. I just like to explore. Oh. I'm a Oh my god, I'm a detective. I'm supposed to check out the whole crime, oh. crime scene. So annoying. Minecraft. Charge. Charge a bug. Constance and expands. Charge. Charge. What is strangely shaped Pokemon? 
Yeah, you don't see these in Rhyme City. Relic. Round eyes that look round and round and round. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh my god. <laughs> that bit was not worth it. Guys, I have vertigo. <laughs> so stupid why I do that. Okay, I'm good. Rowl. Rowl it. This sure is a cute Pokemon. Sir. Fossil collector. Well, hello there. Yes. Hello. What are you up to all the way out here? I'm a fossil collector. I travel all over the world searching for new additions to my collection. This is my partner, Zigzagoon. 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 A rock smasher. Oh, he's freezing. Zigzag. Fossils, huh? Do you really think you'll find some here? Huh. Do you have any idea how incredible these ruins are? There are countless fossils buried around here, just waiting to be unearthed, and I intend to do just that. Wow. Evidence of an ancient civilization and fossils? Sounds like the kind of place legends are born from. Furthermore, new research has confirmed that the construction of these ruins coincided with a huge meteor shower. Hundreds of meteorites have, are said to have fallen from the sky and landed here. Yes, here. Truly, these ruins are the stuff of legends. Well, I hope you're able to find some fossils. Thank you. Oh, and before I forget, do you happen to know of any Pokemon that are capable of breaking this boulder? There's something behind it. I can feel it in my bones. It might even be a fossil. My zigzagoon usually helps me out with this sort of thing, but the little fellow's poor paws are frozen numb. We don't want to have... We don't want to have trudged all the way out here for a fossil excavation just to be stopped by some nippy weather, you know? Yeah. I wish there was something we could do. Me too, but it's not like either of us can bust a big boulder like that. If we could just find a Pokemon strong enough to break rocks. Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. <clears throat> Leaveny. A leaf... Taylor. Leaven. It's a leaveny. It looks kind of anxious. Do you think there's something wrong? Hey, leaveny. Did something bad happen? Lee, leva. I see. It's worried because some Swaloon still haven't come home. Leaveny's gone looking for them a lot already and can't find them anywhere. With how cold it is here, I can see why Leaveny's worried. If we can find the Swadloon, let's tell them to come home. Good idea. Apparently there are two Swadloon missing. Two of them. Got it. Okay, Leaveny. Leave those Swadloon to us. Leave it? Nah, don't worry about it. You can look for them while we're conducting our other investigations. Leave. It wants us to deliver these clothes to the Swadloon when we find them because they're probably shivering in this cold. There are clothes for a Swadloon? Yeah. Leaving to use their sticky silk to weave clothes out of leaves. Okay, got it, Leaving. We'll search for these Swadloon and deliver these clothes to them, too. So you just sit tight and stop worrying. Leave. <clears throat> I've never seen a Leaving. I don't know anything past Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Because that's when I stopped watching the TV show. Secret? Oh, what's the goddamn quiz lady? I don't want to talk to her. Okay, I like this area. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Some blueberries are growing here. I think they're Yachi berries. Did I pick it up? Lotad. Lotad. A leaf bobber. Lotad is my favorite. I love the episode when Brock got Lotad's. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Those are Lotad. They're singing so cheerfully. Sorry to bother you while you're having so much fun, but do you mind if we ask you some questions? Hello. Hey. 
Have you three always lived here? Oh, no, no, no. Do you love it here because it's warm and has plenty of food? It's a shame the weather's like this now. Hello. Apparently they're just fine, but they're worried about the other Pokemon around here. I hope the snow stops soon. Tim, over here. Oh, what do you want, Pikachu? Hey, Lotat. How does it feel to live your life floating on the water? Lotat. Floating in the water feels so nice. Wow, what a way to live. That does sound like a chill way to retire. Just floating in a lazy river. Mm -hmm. Some yellow berries are growing here. They must be pineapple berries. Who we meet again, detective? Remember me? Piano. Um, who are you again? <laughs> Dude, he did not just say that to her. Oh my god. You're such an asshole. Oh, come on, it's me, the quiz professor. Now, let's get started on today's Pokemon quiz. Answer the correct Pokemon, and I'll give you some fun trivia about that Pokemon as a reward. She was at the park in Rhyme City, too. Um, we're actually pretty busy right now. Okay, question number one. Cano. Oh. <coughs> Who, what winged Pokemon has a round body and adorable eyes? The correct Pokemon can be found close by, so go out there and find it. She's not listening to us at all. Well, if we happen to come across the answer, I guess we can tell her. Okay, it was a Rowlet. We literally just saw it. I will always stall the main mission to do side quests. This is gonna be a hundred percent completionist playthrough, everybody. It's a Rowlet. Hmm. This Pokemon has adorable eyes and a round body. Just like the quiz professor said. You think she's talking about this Pokemon? She must have been. Okay, let's go back to that professor and tell her what we found. Rowl. Can we just cop it? For these missions, I don't get why, like, I can't just, like, manually type in the Pokemon name. Like, why'd I have to go back, talk to said Pokemon, and then talk to the lady? It's kind of D-U-M. Oh, hello, detective. Have you figured out the answer? <laughs> yes, it's Rowla. Bingo, that's it. Maybe I gave too many hints. Gano. Rowlet are nocturnal. During the day, they stay still and photosynthesize. When they hunt, they silently sneak up on their prey and attack it with fierce kicks. Glad we didn't meet it at night then. We might have learned about those sneak attacks the hard way. <laughs> on to question number two. Yeah, no. What Pokemon has a blocky body, impressive jaws, and will shock you if you touch it? A blocky body? Is there really a Pokemon like that? Maybe it's an electric type Pokemon. I guess we can keep an eye out for it. It was the Minecraft one. Ha! Charge! Charge! Oh, you look like- You look just like what the professor described. Yeah, she must have been talking about Charger Buck. Charge! Charge! Oh, it's nothing important. Sorry if we startled you. Anyway, now that we know the answer, let's go tell her. Hi, detective. Judging by the look of your face, you found the answer. <laughs> yep, the answer is charger bug. Exactly. Good job. Cano. Charger Bug eats fallen leaves and convert them into electricity. And they can store that electricity just like a battery. Seems like they'd be seems like they'd be pretty useful Pokemon to have in the great outdoors. If only a certain Pikachu had that talent. Dude, stop dissing the detective. That's so mean. Tim is being ableist. Oh my god. <laughs> hey Tim. You know I can hear you, right? 
Get him! Get his ass! And now for question number three. This is the last one. Kano. What Pokemon is soft and fluffy all over? Wow, that last question is really vague. Just find the fluffiest Pokemon around these ruins. Soft and fluffy, huh? I wonder if anybody can beat this fine fur coat of mine. Probably the bear. I saw a bear to the left. Mm -hmm. Some pink berries are growing here. Yeah, those are Naba berries. They're just like Pokemon Go. Monfana. Fiery Tail Burning Spirit. Mon. That's a Monfano. It probably lives around here. It doesn't look too happy. Mon, Mon. It doesn't like how cold it's gotten so suddenly. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Mon. Hey. Can't you create fire, Monfano? I think that would help you. Uh, that I think that would help you deal with the cold. Mon. Oh, it's so cold that it's hard to heat up your flame. Mon, Mon. It says it might leave this area if the cold continues much longer. I guess it prefers warm places. I hope the weather gets better soon. Hey. Snowfall is pretty rare here, isn't it? Mon. This is the first time you've seen snow here when it's not winter. When did the snow start? Mon, Mon, Ferno. A few days ago, it says, right when some humans arrived. Clouds suddenly started to gather above the ruins, and then it started to snow. It's really strange that the snow is only falling around the ruins. Yeah, maybe we'll learn more if we pay them a visit. Hmm. Humans. Ruining everything as always. Ursa Ring. Exercise extreme caution. Ursa. Ursa. Oh, it's an Ursa ring. You don't see those back in Rhyme City very often. You sure don't look happy, Ursa ring. Is something wrong? Ursa, Ursa. You came all this way from a faraway bamboo forest with your Ursa ring friend to look for food. Now your friend has been missing for days? I can see why it's worried. Let's help Ursa Ring search for its friend. Yeah, we may be in the middle of an investigation, but I'm worried about the other Ursa Ring. Do you have any other information that might help our research? Ursa. The last time you saw your friend, he was headed towards the ruins. Sounds like that other Ursa Ring- Sounds like that other Ursa Ring may be inside then. Okay, we'll let you know if we find your friend. Ursa. Maybe the Ursa Ring could be the softest Pokemon? Because I don't want to go to the ruins just yet. Who? what Pokemon is soft and fluffy all over? Okay, I did not find it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Some red berries are growing here. Those look like hobbin berries. To the ruins. Phew, that was quite a hike. Hey, Tim. There are a lot of Pokemon here that I've never seen in the city. Yeah, same here. But that Ursa Ring we saw just outside isn't native to this area. Maybe it came here looking for food. Say, where is Gordon anyway? Huh? It looks like someone's here. Oh, that's... Hmm? Oh, what are you doing here? Chris Honor, Professor Gordon's assistant. Oh, Munchalax, curry enthusiast. I actually made curry this week. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt you during your work, Chris. My name is Rachel, and this is Tim. I'm a student of Professor Gordon's, and Tim here also attends Rhyme University. Oh, you're students. What brought you all the way out here? There is something we want to ask Professor Gordon about. We were hoping to talk to him. The professor. Oh dear. 
He entered the ruins two days ago and well. As you can see, he hasn't come back yet. <laughs> what? Does nobody have concern when people go missing? Jeez. Huh? Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? Oh, the professor's always like this. He's actually... He's absolutely obsessed with his research in the ruins. I'm pretty sure he's deep inside them right now with his partner, Slowpoke. As much as I wish I could check on him, there's some kind of trick to opening the door to the ruins. You have to trip some sort of mechanism to open it, but I can't figure it out. He usually makes it back without issue. I'm sure he's fine. Hey, in case you haven't noticed, it's freezing. Can you really afford to be so carefree about this? I guess we'll have to figure out how to use the mechanism if you want to meet Gordon. Okay, Chris. We'll go look for Professor Gordon and his slowpoke. You? I'm not sure that's the best idea. Don't worry. Tim and Pikachu are detectives, famous all over Rhyme City. Oh, you're that, Tim? The great detective? In that case, I'm a lot less worried. Okay, I'll leave the search for the professor and slowpoke to you. Just don't push yourselves too hard. Right. First, we'll investigate the entrance to the ruins. I won't be much help if I'm looking at the same things you are. I'll go look around the perimeter of the ruins. Thanks. Okay. Let's start investigating that entrance. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. What do you suppose grows on this tree? Let me see. Ooh, cutscene. <gasps> Passimian, premier pitcher. Whoa, a Passimian was in this tree. Simmy, we woke you up from your nap. Um, sorry about that. Pass, pass. It's been noisy around here lately because of all the strange visitors. Is it talking about the professor and Chris? Maybe. Let's ask for more details. Pass. Hey. <clears throat> Do you live here, Passimian? Simi. Apparently, Passimian and the troop have lived here a long time. It says they never have to worry about food because so many berries grow around here. Though, this is a pretty easy place to live, I guess. Passa. Passy. It says it's been seeing humans around here recently. Recently. Were there no humans before? Pass, pass. Humans used to live here a long time ago, but now they're a rare sight. And it only knew that humans used to live here because that's what its grandfather told it. If humans once lived here, it must have been a really long time ago. Hmm. Mm hmm. There are some yellow berries growing here. Those have gotta be shuka berries. Eldegoss has thick cotton fluff. It's Eldegoss. It's really fluffy. Eldegoss, Eldy, Eldy. That's an impressive amount of fluff. What if it's not Snow Witch's cotton? <laughs> Eldos, Eldegoss has got to be the answer to the quiz professor's question. Alright then, let's go back and tell her the answer. Swaddloon. Find safety in swaddling. <clears throat> it's a swaddloon. Loon. Looks like it didn't go home because it's too cold to move. Well, let's give it the clothes we got from Leveny. Swaddloon. It looks a lot happier now. Now you can get back to Leveny, right? It seems really worried about you. You should hurry on home, okay? Swaloon. One missing child found. Okay, I'm gonna do the quiz first. That way I don't have to backtrack too much. So, detective, 
Have you identified the fluffiest fluffster around the ruins? <laughs> yes, of course. The answer is Eldegoss. Hey, yes, that's correct. Didn't you just want to give it a big hug? Cano. By the way, Eldegoss's cotton is used as a material for all sorts of clothing. And not only that, the seeds attached to his cotton are highly nutritious for Pokemon. It really is an amazing Pokemon, not only cute but helpful as well. Huh. Cute and helpful? Is there anything it can't do? <clears throat> Our daily lives are really improved by so many different Pokemon helping us out. Well, that's it for today's coup is. I hope you're looking forward to the next time we meet. Can yeah, no. I've got a feeling we're gonna keep running into her. Yes, well, please go easy on us, okay? Wait, what was that sound? There are some blueberries growing here. I think those are Koba berries. Munch, munch. This munch lack appears to be Chris's partner. Munch. Ask you anything, huh? Don't mind if we do. Mun. Hey. What are you doing here? Mun, mun. He says he's helping Chris. What sort of help do you do? Munch, munch. Your job is to eat a lot so there's no leftovers at the end of the day. Sounds like he's just a glutton. <laughs> you know, that's my job. Hey. What's Gordon's partner Slowpoke like? Munch, munch. It says Slowpoke's always with the big man. It must mean Professor Gordon. Munch, munch, munch. Slowpoke is really nice, and he sometimes lets you eat his tail. And his tail is sweet and delicious, huh? <laughs> no wonder Cloyster's attached to him. Wait, no, Cloyster is the evolved one. What is this the what is the baby clam called? Cloyster. Oh, I'm looking it up. I, it's gonna bother me, it's gonna bother me. Preform of Cloyster. Shelter? Damn it, you beat me to it. It is Shelter. Maybe that's why Shelter keeps nipping on him. <clears throat> Seems like Slowpoke is pretty generous. Okay, Munchlax yeah, gave us nothing. Hey, Munchlax, is it true that you eat your own weight and food every day? Munch. Yeah, Munch. so what? It must be hard on Chris. That'd be insane, eating that much food every day. Holy. You wouldn't even be able to, like, work it off. <laughs> Don't air out his stuff like that. He asked him a question. <laughs> and Munchlax could have easily lied. Yes. The professor has several assistants, but I heard that Chris is the most skilled. If even he can't figure out how to open the door to the ruins, it must be pretty difficult. I believe in you, Tim. Now let's figure out the trick to opening that door so we can go see the professor. <sighs> Thanks again, Tim. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Excuse me. Ooh, what are you doing here, Chris? I'm helping with the professor's research. I set up camp, search around the outside of the ruins, stuff like that. It's not uncommon for me to lose contact with a professor like this. But if I stop working just because he's disappeared, I'll get in trouble with him later. Sounds pretty rough. Oh, I'm used to it by now. About all I can do at the moment is cook up some curry and wait for him. And there are so many berries growing around here, it's a great chance to try out different flavors. I'm not sure if the professor's too independent or if this guy's too easygoing. But either way, this seems to be a good pair. Hmm. He's I too. 
Hmm. Okay, bye, Wheel. Thank you for hanging out. It was a pleasure. Stream ends when I beat the game. No joke. But before we open the ruin, you know what I gotta do? Some of y'all know. I have to run an ad because we are an hour into stream. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Oh, I painted my nails earlier. Whoa, on camera? Wait, pause. Because usually in, whoa, that's weird. It's, it's a chrome polish, so it shifts from blue to purple. On camera, it looks blue, but in my lighting, it looks like in, like a muted purple. Well, see, I think that's a, the my ring finger is a closer shade to what I see. Whoa, that's weird. The color correction on the camera makes it look different. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, back to work. Is it time to investigate? Hey. Okay, let's take a close look and figure out what sort of mechanism we're working with. Careful not to miss any details. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Let's see, where should we look first? They're faint, but I see some footprints on this tree. Oh my god, dead ass. I did not notice that. <laughs> I'm a horrible detective. Hmm. Judging by the shape, I'd say these are human. Not sure if they're Gordons, though. Someone must have climbed this tree. But why would they do that? Huh? There is some sort of picture on the door. Yeah. Must be some kind of relief. It looks like a person holding up a Pokemon. Yeah, it does. Do you think it's a clue about the mechanism? You must pick up a Clefairy, and the door opens. This tile right here has a design carved into it. Hmm, what do you suppose this design means? I have no idea. I'm not an archaeologist. Fair enough. It might have meant something to Gordon, though. Hmm, I wonder. Okay. I think we've checked everything that stands out. Yeah, we just gave the quick- we just gave the place a quick glance, but I think we've got plenty to work with now. Oh, I can't click on Pikachu. Investigating ancient ruins feels like a real adventure, doesn't it? Oh, I did. Okay, he just says something. <sighs> well, we looked all around the door, but we still don't know how to open it. It looks like Chris was right. It won't open unless we activate some sort of mechanism. Hmm. What's the mechanism to get this door open? Even after investigating the area, we still can't figure that out. Makes sense. We're not archaeology experts after all. I think we should use our own methods to solve this. What do you mean? Our detective skills, you know, conducting investigations, interviewing witnesses, all that jazz. Chris might know more about the ruins. And maybe someone saw Gordon open the door. But who? Oh, you mean the Pokemon who live here? Exactly. Let's go interview witnesses and see if we can round up clues. I have some questions for you all. <clears throat> Munch. Hey. Do you know what Gordon was doing when he entered the ruins? Munch Munch. He was eating something while he investigated the ruins? He must have been in quite a hurry if he was snacking and researching at the same time. 
what did Gordon do after that? A bunch of bunch. He was moving around strangely near the entrance, and he was acting so weird, a Pokemon up in a tree started laughing at him. So, it wasn't just Munchlax and Chris that were watching the professor. The Pokemon saw him, too. What happened after that? Much, much. The next thing he knew, Gordon was gone. Let's ask him more about that other Pokemon. Hey. Right. Munchalax, you said there was a Pokemon watching Gordon out from a tree. What kind of Pokemon was it? Uh, Lax. You don't know, because you've never seen that kind of Pokemon before, huh? Where did it go? Munchlax. He says it disappeared down that path to the left. It's always better to hear what each Pokemon has to say. Let's make sure we talk to them all. We just talked to him. Hell day. Oh, look at that. I almost want to bury my face in all that soft-looking fluff. Hey, Tim. You got a fluffy friend right by your side, remember? Tim! Tim! Dude, is, is he trying to riz me up? Is Detective Pikachu oh, trying to smash? Tim. <laughs> what? A bolt of... Oh, wait. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry. I thought I was gonna have a bolt of brilliance. Guess it was just a false alarm. Sorry. Yeah, he was just attention seeking right there. Jeez. Just because Harry's gone doesn't mean I can be your main bitch now. Like, come on. Cassie. Hey. Did you see a human around here with a slowpoke? Pass. Passy. You saw a human doing something in front of the ruins while you were up in the tree. What was he doing, the human? Pass, pass. He was trying to lift Slowpoke up in front of the door, but Slowpoke was too heavy to lift, so the human started climbing up a tree instead. Pasamian always says it was la also says it was laughing its head off watching them. The professor climbed the tree. What in the world was he up to? I'm really curious about what Pasamion told us. You mean about Gordon climbing a tree before he entered the ruins? He must have had a reason. Pasamion always also said the professor tried to lift up Slowpoke, right? And remember, the relief on the door also depicted someone holding up a Pokemon. Do you think there's something on top of the door? It sure sounds possible. Let's go look up there. All right then. Just a little climb. You another no cutie? Oh, oh, finally made it. <laughs> Anything up there? Let me catch my breath first. That's no way to treat a Pokemon. Oh. This tile has the same design as the one down there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Why do you climb down? The obvious solution is you press the tile up top. Oh my god. So do you end. What did you see on top of the door? There was a tile with the same design as the one on the ground by the door. The same design? Let's think back over what we know. Gordon climbed the tree before entering the ruins. Yeah, it must have been to open the door. Right. So there's gotta be some sort of key or switch to open it. Have we seen anything that fits that description? Let's see. Something like a key or a switch? Mm -hmm. It's gotta be that tile with the unique design. I can see that being a switch to open the door. Right. I think that's pretty likely. Okay, I'll try stepping on it. Ah, I felt something! It sank down a bit when I pressed on it. It's definitely a switch, but then... It's definitely a switch, then, but the door still didn't budge. There must be some other way to open it. Try to do this how, Tim. You have someone on top press the top button. It's so obvious. Begin deducing. Hmm. <laughs> Did you figure out how to open the door?
Press both switches. Oh. There are two switches with the same design. One above the door and the one below the door. Maybe the door will open if we press them both. So you think Gordon climbed the tree to press the switch above the door? Yeah, and he had Slowpoke press the one below. Then maybe all we gotta do is press both switches at once. <laughs> Let's try it out. That was like, so simple. Hmm. Okay, let's press both switches at once. You can press the one down here, Tim, and I'll get the one up top. Thanks, Pikachu. Um, I know I volunteered, but climbing trees is actually pretty tough. <sighs> Gotta climb up again. Here we go again. Okay, Pikachu, you press that one. Yep, leave it to me. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to be heavy enough. Yes! Can't they just, like, leave a rock up top? Hmm. All right, now we can get inside. Let's go find the professor. Hmm. So this is what the ruins are like inside. Why is it so cold? Yeah, it's freezing here too. What's going on? I know it's snowing outside, but it still feels really unnatural. Snow outside, ice inside, I bet there's a connection. Do you think the professor's alright after two whole days in here? I hope so. We should probably hurry. I'm not sure what we'll find in here, so I'll go scout ahead. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's go find Gordon. Looks like there's three different ways to go. Which way do you think the professor went? Obviously here. Hmm, there's something on the floor. It's a brand new handkerchief. Hmm, Trevor Gordon? Professor Gordon's name is embroidered on it. So it's Gordon's handkerchief, huh? The fact that we've found the professor's handkerchief here means that we've come to this room. Yeah, I don't see Gordon anywhere. Where do you think he went? We might be able to find some more clues about that. Let's investigate this area carefully. <clears throat> I bet he's hiding in the little igloo. This is the only spot where the snow is piled up like this. There's a hole in the ceiling. Must have blown in from there. You're right, no wonder it's so cold. Wait, does that mean we could have just got in through the ceiling? Don't look at me, I didn't know... I didn't see it when I was up there. Besides, it would have been really tough to get down through that hole safely. True. It's not like we brought a rope or anything. This looks like a statue of Possumion. What a weird pose. It's almost like it's offering something. Yeah, now that you mention it, that is strange. I wonder if there's some special meaning to it. Also, this statue has a slight scent to it. Really? I don't smell anything. That's because Pokemon are more sensitive to smell. This smells spicy. Just sniffing it, just sniffing it makes my eyes sting. 
It's a possum meow statue. There's a sniffs. There's. <laughs> There's a sweet smell coming from this statue. It's a possum meow statue. There's a sour smell coming from this one. There are footprints all over the floor. It looks like someone was walking all around. Some seem to be heading toward that wall, and others seem like they're leaving the room. What? Gordo <clears throat> must have gone in and out of this room several times. There are so many footprints all over the place, I can't tell which way the professor went. This wall looks different from the others. Yeah, there's a relief of Aegi Slash carved into it. What in the world could it mean? Hey, Tim, look at the floor. What, what, what about it? It's another door. They look like human footprints. From the size, I'd guess they were made by an adult male. Hmm, you're right. But there's something weird about these footprints. I'll say. The tip of the last footprint is cut off by the wall. It's almost like the wall was made after the footprints were left here. That doesn't seem possible though, does it? What could have happened here? Okay, let's start deducing. In a second, Pikachu, I wanna look around okay, let's start deducing. Oh, shut up, oh my god. Hi, Quack, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello, hope you're doing well, man. Just missed 11 11, it's 11 12. Damn it, make a late wish, everybody. There's a swad loon. It looks so cold. Loon. It's practically frozen. It must be too cold to walk back home. Quick, let's give it the clothes that Levin he gave us. Swadloon! Alright, it looks much better now. Your mother's worried about you, so you should hurry home. Swad! Swadloon! <laughs> Alright, we found both Swadloon. Wanna head back now to make sure they made it home safe and sound? No. That's okay, but you can circle back later whenever you feel like it. Yeah, why would I abandon the professor for two little Pokemon? I want to talk to these guys. I cannot. Oh, I gotta deduce. Dun dun. Hmm. Where could Gordon have gone? Let's think about this together. Hmm. I wonder. Obviously, it's the path in the wall. <laughs> he went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that an option? Maybe this path extends past the relief of Aegis Slash. And the relief could have blocked off the path after the professor had already gotten through. Does that seem impossible to you? Hmm. The entrance to the ruin was closed shut, even though we knew Gordon opened it. It's possible that this relief is also an entrance, and it also closed shut after Gordon walked through it. If that's the case, maybe there's another mechanism that, that'll move this relief. Yeah, we just gotta figure out what it is. Hmm. Now we need to investigate and figure out what kind of mechanism controls the Aegis Slash wall. How do we do that? Hmm. There was a unique design on the switches that opened the entrance. So, that same design might be used inside the ruins too. Not necessarily. We have no reason to think that same type of mechanism was being used here. But that doesn't mean there aren't any visual clues here. Visual clues, huh? For now, let's just look around the rooms for anything that seems unusual. We can think about the mechanic. Mechan 
We can think about the mechanism afterward. Okay. That deducing session was DUM. Okay, there's nothing else in this room. Let's go to the right, because right is right. Oh, there's like a shadow in the ice. I hate that. Hmm. This rock seems a little different from the others. Yeah, it's definitely got a pretty strange shape. What do you suppose it's doing here? It's a Pokemon. Oops, I clicked again. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> wow. It's a wall of ice. Looks like we can't go any further this way. Yeah, there's no way we can get through a wall this thick. I can barely see through to the other side, though. Really? Let me take a look. Hmm, yeah, there's definitely something there. I see something moving. Hmm. Looks like a suspicious shadow. I'm curious to know what it is, but we should look into it later. Yeah, let's come back another time. I bet it's just a statue, because it's not, like, moving, moving. And nothing to the right, to the left. The orb on the left is gone. Hmm. He's I too. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't no way he's here. Wait, what? Slowpoke. Slow Concentrated deliciousness in the tip of its tail. <laughs> huh? Is this the professor's partner, Slowpoke? Slow. Slowpoke. Easy there, Slowpoke. We're not your partner. Slow. Slow. He thought Mr. Go was back, and now he's disappointed. He calls Professor Gordon Mr. Go, huh? That's cute. Hey, Tim. Looks like his feet are frozen solid. I think he's stuck. Yeah, we can't leave him like this. But what can we do to help? Hmm. What if we ask Rachel for help, and then we can try pulling him out together? Sounds like a plan. There was literally an, uh, uh, a fire Pokemon outside. This is Professor Gordon's Slowpoke, right? Yeah, I think so. But why is he frozen? We gotta help him quit. Won't be easy with ice this solid. Slowpoke. Don't worry, we'll pull you free. Three, two. Slowpoke. Dude, that's gonna hurt so much. No. Here. Huh? Holy! <laughs> Not funny, Rachel. Oop! Come on. <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? Is Slowpoke's tail? Hey, are you okay? Yeah, we amputated. No. Well, I see. Your tail. Oh, really okay. Goes back Thank fast. goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> I can keep this. Don't mind if I do. No it's a little tasty snack. They did say his tail no tasted very no. sweet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna verify that the audio is still synced because the camera capture card crashed. Hold. Okay, it is good. It's 
Sloan. Looks like we managed to get him free. Thank goodness. He says thank you for rescuing him. I'm really glad we could help. Although you're heavier than you look. <laughs> Roasting him, that's so mean. <laughs> They're all brutal. Did Slowpoke give you his tail just now, Pikachu? Yeah? Don't you know Slowpoke's tail are good eats? You can't help but smile when you sink your teeth into one. Huh, you don't say. How'd you end up frozen anyway? Slow. It happened so suddenly that you're not sure. What about your partner, Gordon? Where is he? Slow. You were asleep until just now, so you don't know. I wish I was that carefree. Thank you for the resub, Kobobo. 14 months? Oh, wait, 15 months. Thank you. Can we get some wool bobos in chat? Thank you. <clears throat> hmm, well, that's not too bad. So then what do you remember, Slowpoke? Can you tell us anything at all? Slow, slow. Hey. Just to confirm, you're Gordon's partner, right? Slow, slow, poke. Just as we thought. So he came here to help with Gordon's research. And he always brings you along on his research trips, huh? Slow, slow. What sort of things do you do to help the professor? Slow. You're good at spraying water, huh? Hmm. How is that helpful to Gordon? Slow, slow. Ah, I see. Gordon brings you along instead of bringing a canteen. That's a choice. <laughs> Why would you have slow poke bath water? <laughs> Can you tell us what happened when you got frozen? Slow. Apparently it happened so suddenly he was already frozen by the time he noticed anything was wrong. What was the professor up to when you got frozen? Slow. He says that Gordon had gone off somewhere. And when Slowpoke tried to follow, that's when he got frozen. Slow, slow. He says he sat here wondering what to do until he fell asleep. Hard to believe he managed to sleep for two days in a place this cold. Hey. Was Gordon with you when you entered this room? Slow. Okay, so they were together at that point. When did you and the professor get separated? Slow, slow poke. Right after they reached this room, Gordon told Slowpoke to use this water to wash the dust off a mural. After Slowpoke did that, Gordon suddenly noticed something and rushed out of the room. Slow, slow, slow. A bit later, he heard Gordon call out in surprise from the next room. And then there was a rumbling, rocky sound. Slowpoke tried to hurry and catch up, but that's when he got frozen. Slow. And right after he got frozen, you heard that rumble again. Slow. So you heard that rumbling sound twice, huh, Slowpoke? Hmm. Do you have any idea what Gordon might have noticed? Slow. No dice, huh? The murals in this room are really big. Yeah, I bet there's a clue hidden somewhere in these murals. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for all the info, Slowpoke. You've been a huge help. Slow. That conversation just sounded like a bunch of Pika Pikas and slow slows to me. Still, they talked for a pretty long time. What were they talking about? Could you understand them, Tim? What? No, of course not. I can't understand them. All right, then. I'm gonna stay here for a while and look after Slowpoke. I wanna make sure at least he's okay. He was stuck in that ice for two days, after all. Got it. Thanks, Rachel. In that case, let's go back to our investigation. According to Slowpoke, Gordon noticed something when he looked at these murals. Then these murals must hold the key to finding the professor's whereabouts. We'd better take a close look at them. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. 
Mo. You're pretty desperate to find Gordon, aren't you? I get that you're worried, but you really gotta take it easy for a bit. You've had a rough couple of days yourself. Slow, slow. Hmm. They're holding fruit. <clears throat> so these are the murals the professor was looking at. They both depict Passimion. Yeah, but how do we know which of these two murals he was actually looking at? Maybe he looked at both of them. Either way, we'll give them. We have to give them each a thorough investigation. This wall is way more frozen than the others. If you look closely, it seems like there's another mural in the middle wall, too. But with all the ice in the way, we can't see what the mural is depicting. If we want to see this mural, we gotta, we're gotta, we gonna have to do something about the, all this ice first. I wonder what was drawn here. You know what else I wonder? If we have people watching who aren't following. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes of the stream super newer. Click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on. I need to go blow my nose real quick. Yep. I'm like 99% better. <clears throat> Get back to work. <clears throat> Professor Gordon noticed something when he was looking at these murals. We should check them out as well. Make sure to not miss any details. Okay, where should we look first? Look at this Passimion's face. It seems happy. Looks like my face when I've just eaten something sweet. Look at this Passimion's pose. It's holding a berry. You're right. It's got a yellow berry. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. Maybe we need to go grab some fruit. <clears throat> That's a pretty huge hunk of ice. I know it's cold in here and all, but could something like that really have formed naturally? Seems kind of suspicious. Ooh, who is this? <laughs> Minior, fallen star. Or Minior. Huh. Is this Pokemon trying to tell us something? Yeah. Minior says it wants to go back home. Where is its home? Minior lives up in the ozone layer. They fall down to the ground when their shells get too heavy. Wow, that's high up, huh? If we help to get rid of its shell, do you think it can make it back out there? I wonder if we can find a Pokemon powerful enough to break its shell. Hmm. Maybe a Ursa Ring? 
<clears throat> Professor Gordon noticed something when he was looking at these murals. We should check them out as well. Make sure not to miss any details. Hmm. Okay, where should we look first? Hmm? Oh, this Passimion has a pretty strained expression. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Looks like it ate just something sour. You have no other way to interpret that face. Look at this possum man's pose, it's holding a berry. You're right, it's got a blueberry. The other wall had a yellow berry, but this one's blue. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. Okay, let's start deducing. Let's get to deducing. Did you figure out how we get past the Aggie slash relief? Change the expressions. Freeze the middle statue. Or have the statues hold berries. That that seems like the most straightforward. Oh. What if we had the statues hold the same berries as the Passamion and the murals? You know, how both the statues and murals depict Passamion? That makes me think they're both connected to the mechanism. The Passamion and the murals are holding berries, but the Passamion statues aren't. So I think we need to make the statues match the murals. Ah, I get what you're saying. We could probably pull that off by placing berries on the statues. The statues look like they're perfectly posed for holding berries, too. There's just one problem, though. Yeah, each mural depicts a different berry. Exactly. Which means we need to give each of the three statues a different berry. But what berry are we supposed to give to which statue? Hmm. What berry should we place on the statue to the left? I think it's only natural to assume that the leftmost statue and mural correspond to each other. And that mural depicts a yellow berry and a happy passamion. I bet that passamion's expression is a clue about the flavor. Could it be smiling because it ate something sweet? Exactly what I was thinking. Which means we need to place a sweet yellow berry on the statue. Okay, let's go find a berry that ticks those boxes. What berry should we place on the statue to the right? I bet the answer is in the rightmost mural. The mural on the right depicts a blueberry and a pass me on with a puckered up face. I'm sure that's the face someone makes when they have just eaten something sour. Which means that the answer's gotta be sour blueberry. Let's go find a berry that ticks those boxes, Tim. Hmm. What berry should we place on the middle statue? We couldn't examine the middle mural because it was frozen over. We gotta figure out what to do about that ice first. I don't think there's anything we could do to get rid of the ice that thick. True. In that case, I think we should just get some help from the Pokemon. Yeah. There's lots of ruins outside. There's lots of Pokemon outside the ruins. Let's go ask the Pokemon if any of them can help. Yeah, that was a lot. So we need berries and then the fire Pokemon. I'll be. Oh. <clears throat> if we want to get farther into the ruins, we have to gather the berries depicted in the murals. Right. We need a sour berry that's blue and a sweet berry that's yellow. The colors we can see is that part's easy, but what about the flavors? Hmm. I don't even know what every berry tastes like. I guess I'll just have to try them all. You know, Pokemon. What? You're gonna eat them? That's the fastest way to get the info we need, right? I guess. Just don't make yourself sick, okay? Don't worry. We Pokemon love berries. Alright, Tim. Now that we've got a plan, let's go get those berries. It's berry time. Mm -hmm. There are some blueberries growing here. 
Let's see what they taste like. They're hard and bitter too. Oh, these are definitely coba berries. Oof, I need a glass of water. Are you okay, Pikachu? Ooh, you're new. Fluffa, innocent little star tot. It's a Cleffa. You seem to be looking all over the place. What are you up to? Cleffa, Cleffa, Cleffa. You're playing hide and seek with your friends, but you can't find them. It must be hard being the seeker in a huge area like this. Cleffa? What? Help you search for them? We're in the middle of an investigation. We can play hide and seek with you another time. Clef, Cleffa. You have other plans after this? At this rate, you'll be late. Come on, we can help out a little, can't we? Yeah, I guess we can keep an eye on while we're investigating the place. Kulefa! You've got three fens to find, huh? Got it. We'll let you know if we find them. Mm -hmm. There are some red berries growing here. This has a unique bitter taste. Yep, these are definitely hobbin berries. So, hobbin berries are red and bitter. Got it. Personally, I'd rather grab a coffee if I'm craving something bitter. Can we ask you some questions? Mon Mon? Do you know what berries can be found here? Moan. It says there are pink berries growing on the tree it always plays in. Do you mean the tree right next to you? Is that where you play? Fair no. Gotcha. What do the pink berries taste like? Moan moan. That's sweet, huh? Sounds like you really love them. I like sweet berries too. Hey. So tell us, what are you good at particularly? Moan. When it comes to spewing fire, no one can beat you. You sound pretty confident of that. Moan. Fair. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> I guess this chat cheered it up a little. Pretty sure those are pineapple berries. Here, let me taste one for you. The skin is sour, but the fruit inside has that iconic spicy flavor. Pineapple berries are yellow, sour, and spicy. Noted. You'd think they taste bad, but the two flavors have a pretty delicate balance going on. Controversial, but I hate pineapple. Too acidic. I don't have heartburn, but it gives me heartburn. Found you, Cleffa. Clef? The Cleffa looking for you asked us to help finding all of you. Clef, Clef? You thought no one would find you here? You'll underestimate the observational powers of a great detective. You've got some other plans after this, right? Go on. It's time to go home. Clef, Clef? There are some blue berries growing here. I think those might be yachi berries. Let me give them a taste. Whoa, they're so sour. But the aftertaste is really refreshing. Yep, those are definitely yachi berries. There's no mistaking that sourness. Blueberries that are sour. Okay, let's start deducing. Okay, let's start deducing. Hey, shut up, Pikachu. <laughs> Wanna look around some more? Oh, we can complete this mission. Nina. Lee Lee. Lee Lee. Looks like both the Swaloon got back safely. Swaloon, Swaloon. It's thanking us for delivering the leaf clothes. You're very welcome. 
Swaloon, Swaloon! Glad to see you both look okay. Now let's... Now don't go worrying Levati too much, alright? Easy! One Pokemon saved. But the scientist is now facing a different way. Oh, I didn't notice we could see the area up top there. Okay, so that's the border. Ursa. 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 Hey. Your friend headed towards the ruins, right? If you find him in there, we'll let you know. Oh, is the Ursa ring behind the ice? I think that's it. You're one of the clever of playing hide and seek, aren't you? Clef? Your buddy asked us to help find you. Clef? You thought no one would find you, huh? Don't you have other plans after this? You should head back. Clef? Casa, casa. Passy? Hey. What kind of berries can you find around here? Oh, this is... Okay, this is the same dialogue as the the fire ape. You can pick sweet yellow berries from the tree you live in. So that's why you like this tree. Sweet yellow berries, huh? Pass, pass. It says you can have some if you want. Thanks, if we need any, we'll let you know. Hey. Do you have any handy skills? Simi. Apparently, it's really good at throwing berries. <laughs> okay. Pass, Passy. It says it often competes with his friends to see who can throw the farthest. So its friends are also its rivals. Big draw. Mm -hmm. There are some yellow berries growing here. Those look like sugar berries right here. Let me taste one to make sure. Mmm, I know this sweet, delicious flavor anywhere. These are 100% sugar berries. Sweet yellow berries, huh? Okay, let's start deducing. Hmm. Did you find any Pokemon who could help us get rid of the ice? It is melt the ice with fire. Oh, Monfano can melt the ice with its flames. Yep, some heat ought to melt all that ice. Maybe this one was too easy. <laughs> Monfano seemed to be struggling in this cold, though. I wonder if he'd be willing to help us. Monfano said it's confident about its fire skills. Maybe if we butter it up a bit, it'll agree to help. Just leave the talk to Pokemon to me. Easy. Hmm. Okay, so a blue sour berry. Oh, literally, okay, I thought I had to actually memorize. It shows the description for whatever berry. If it's supposed to be blue sour berry, then I think we need Yachi berry. Yep. If it checks all the boxes, it's gotta be right. Okay, let's take one to the statue. Hmm. Which berry should we place in the statue to the left? You should figure out which berry is yellow and sweet. If the berry we need if the berry needs to be sweet and yellow, then I think we need a shuka berry. Makes sense. The sugar berry's color and flavor are exactly what we're looking for. Okay, let's bring one to the statue. Easy. All 
right. We need to ask Monferno if it'll help us melt the ice covering the mural. Right. Let's go ask Monferno. You're asking a lot, especially in the Please, cold. we need your power. Just give it your best shot. Well, all right, I'll try. Great. We're counting on you. Holy. <laughs> wow. That was so much ice, but it all melted clean away. Now we can get a good look at that mirror mural. Fair enough. After feeling, after feeling the warmth of your flames for a moment, the cold feels even worse. I'm really sorry about that. We pushed you pretty hard. Moan. You're going to move somewhere warm until the snow stops. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks so much for helping us before you leave, Monferno. I hope you come back when it gets warm again. Fair enough. And off it goes. It's up to us now. Yeah. Now that Monferno's melted the ice for us, let's check out that middle mural. What sort of hint do you think we'll get from the middle mural? Remember to think about how it relates to the statues, Tim. Hmm. In all this, like, investigating, I genuinely think Tim is just D.O.M. and Pikachu is, like, so smart. Because <laughs> he has to, like, guide Tim along. Okay, where should we look first? This Possumion is breathing fire. Can Possumion even do that? No, they can't use those kind of moves. But I think it means it ain't something spicy, it's breathing fire. Yeah, that would explain it. This Possumion is holding a red berry. A red berry this time, huh? I wonder what kind of berry it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. We're finally able to examine the middle mural. Now we need to think about what sort of berry we should place in the middle statue. Hmm. The middle mural depicts a passamion that's holding a red berry and breathing fire. I'm sure that Passamion's expression is supposed to mean it ate something spicy. Which means we should place a spicy red berry on the middle statue. I wonder if there are any good berries that meet these conditions. Why don't we go search outside the ruins? Yeah, well, let's think about what berry would work. I think I have it already, though. Did you figure out which berry is red and spicy? Okay, spicy is not bitter. Got it. Whatever. That's the right color, but what about the flavor? Oh yeah, hopping berries are bitter. Guess that wouldn't do. Mm. Why don't we go take a look at the trees around the ruins? Oopsie! Mm. I thought I investigated all the berries outside already. You already did those?
Yeah, there's no other trees. Hmm. Peace eye too. Hmm. Yeah, those ones are bitter. Hello, Tata's new dialogue. Hello, Tata. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What can you tell us about the berries around here? Hello. You can buy two different types of berries right by the pond. They probably fall from the two trees near the pond. Hello, hello. One kind is a sour blueberry. Hello, dad. And it sounds like the other kind is yellow and has a sour, spicy flavor. Hello, dad, hello, dad. Oh, no, don't worry, hello, dad. We're not here to steal your berries. Why is there snow? I think there was a meteor shower and then it made a weather change. I don't know, that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, there's no more trees. I've literally been to every tree. A red spicy berry. Oh wait, Este. Mm -hmm. There are any berries growing on this tree. Hmm. What sort of tree is it then? Why don't you try asking Chris? He might know something. Mm. Is there something you wanted to ask? Excuse me. Do you know anything about the berry trees that grow on here? Yeah, I wandered around and explored a bit while waiting for the professor. There are lots of different berries here. Hobbin. Nobud pit pit up. It's a shame there aren't any tomato berries, though. Tomato berries? Yeah, they're spicy red berries. The professor loves them. When I cook for the professor, he always loves any dish I've flavored with tomato berries. So he knows what flavor he likes. Sounds like we'd get along. Unfortunately, I'd used up all the tomato berries I brought with me. See that tree over there with no berries on it? It's actually a tomato tree. Someone must have picked all the berries already. And here I was hoping to add a little more to this curry. Okay, let's start deducing. Okay, some bozo took all the berries. Okay, let's, let's start, start deducing. Hmm. Did you figure out which berry is red and spicy? Tomate. Or tomate, not tomate. That's right. The tomato berries do have the right color and flavor. But according to Chris, there aren't any tomato... Tomato. Wait, tomato. Tom tomato? Tomato? It don't matter. There aren't any tomato berries around here. Hmm, what should we do then? We should put the curry on the statue. We can't follow Gordon without a tomato berry. How did the professor manage to solve this puzzle anyway? Gordon must have brought a tomato berry here with him. Chris had some that he used in this curry, remember? Yeah, that's true. We can't activate the mechani mechanism the same way Gordon did. All we can do now is look for something else we can use in the tomato berry's place. Like what? Seems like we just need to meet two conditions for the statues, color and flavor. If you think about it, we may not even need a berry as long as those con two conditions are met. So, we look for something that's spicy and red like a tomato berry. It's worth a shot, I suppose. It sounds like Chris brought a bunch of stuff with him. Let's go ask what he's got. Maybe he's got something we can use. Sounds good. Let's go talk to Chris. And you know what I have for some of you guys? An ad. Because we are another hour in the stream. It's time for me to run some ads. 
You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad preview on Amazon. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for food Prime. Click subscribe. See if we have a Prime sub available. After the ad, I'm going to keep on playing. <clears throat> I think we need to cop some of Chris's curry. Hmm. First, let's go see Chris. Right, he should still be cooking. Yeah, and maybe he's got an ingredient that we can use as a substitute. Hmm. Is there something you wanted to ask? We need a tomato berry. Do you know if there's anything we can else we can use instead? Anything else red and spicy will do, really. Red and spicy. Well, I've got some curry and apple and some snacks. Um. Didn't you say they used tomato berries in this curry? Yes, I always bring some along because of the professor's favorite. Sounds like the flavor's right, and I guess the color is pretty red. Let's start deducing. Did you find anything that could be used as a substitute for a tomato berry? Yes, sir? I wonder if we could use this tomato berry curry instead. Hmm. It does have tomato berries in it. Seems like our best bet for a substitute. Let's go try it out. Yeah, we just need to ask Chris for some of his curry. Just steal it. Just cop the whole pot. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, would you mind sharing a little of that curry with us? My curry will help solve a puzzle in the ruins? That's incredible. Take as much as you like. I hope it helps you find the professor. Alright. You know what to put on which statue, don't you, Tim? Why don't we do that right now? Yes, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I hope this activates the mechanism. Well, we've placed berries and curry on other statues. What now? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Relief of Aegis Slash. Just as I thought, the path continues on past these statues. I gotta say, it's pretty incredible that using curry actually worked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, now we can keep going. Yeah, let's hurry up and find Gordon. Oh, oh. It's that slowpoke again. He must have followed us here because he's worried about the professor. Makes sense. You are partners, after all. Feel free to tag along at your own pace. Slowpoke. Slowpoke has been added to the party. Ooh, it's even colder down here. Hey Tim, can I borrow your jacket? You're covered in fur, Pikachu. Shouldn't you be better suited to the cold than me? Fur no fur, this place is cold. If we keep standing around like this, we'll freeze solid. At this point, we better hurry and find Professor Gordon for our own sakes. Yeah. There's a big hole in the floor this way. I don't think we can get across. It's really deep, too. The professor probably hasn't come this way. Wait, Tim. Look. Look. These are the professor's footprints. Oh, no. He's dead. D did he fall in? Doesn't Dude, that water like texture is so bad. Oh, my God. Side. Oh. Hmm. 
Do you think that hat belongs to Professor Gordon? Looks that way. Well, we found a clue, but how did he get across? Hello? Wait, Slowpoke! Did I just hear... Yes. Oh, thank goodness he stopped. What's going on, Rachel? I have no idea. Slowpoke just suddenly took off running. Slow. He says if Mr. Go went this way, then he wants to go too. But look at this hole, Slowpoke. Isn't it obvious that we can't get across? Slow. Really, Slowpoke? You've got a brilliant plan. It'd be great if Slowpoke could help us somehow, but are you sure that's a good idea? Slow. We'll leave it to you then. He's gonna freeze the water and make a bridge. Okay, do your thing. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. That's a lot of water. Where did it all come from? We don't ask questions. Oh. Wow, he completely filled it with water, but how are we supposed to get across? Low. Huh? Hey, hey, and wait! Huh? <laughs> He's like, bye, y'all. He swam ahead on his own. That slow book is a real handful. Can you believe Slowpoke? Guy could have given us a heads up before he filled the hole with water and swam off without us. It's too cold for us to swim across. But not cold enough to freeze all that water solid, but which is a problem. We could get across if we laid a bridge over it. Did you see anything we could use as a bridge? Well, no. And I'm sure Chris wouldn't have anything we could use either. Should we get help from a Pokemon again? Yep, that's a good idea. We need a Pokemon that help us. We need a Pokemon that can help us cross the water. Let's go look for one. Mm -hmm. I know the monkey is good at throwing things. Maybe he could just chuck us across. Hmm. There was a mural here too. But it's different from the Pasta murals we saw upstairs. This picture might be a clue of some kind, too. I don't see anything around here that looks like a mechanism. At any rate, right now we should be concentrating on finding the professor. <coughs> Minnie? Huh, this Pokemon looks dizzy. It's a Minnie, a Pokemon that lives in the sky. These fellows plummet to the ground if their shells get too heavy. It says there's not much food for it down here and wants to go back to the sky. But its body's too heavy, so it can't get back there on its own. I see. Do you think it could get back do you think it could back <laughs> I see. Do you think it could get back up there if we help to get rid of its shell? Good question. Only a really powerful Pokemon could break through that shell. Hmm, like Ursaring? You probably can't talk to Ursaring until we free his friend. So either way, we need to go back and find a strong Pokemon. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it's not this one. Okay, that, that was dead ass my first guess. Um. Um. Urse. Hey. Urse. Okay, it's not Ursary. Hey. Low 
Tad can swim. No, Tad. Lo. Lolo. Lolo. Lo. Hey. What are you particularly good at? Lo, Tad. Singing and swimming, huh? They're good swimmers, too. Lola? Sometimes they even get rides to the Pokemon here. They do have nice big leaves for that. I can see how they'd be able to swim with the Pokemon hitching a ride on top. Let's begin deducing. Hmm. Have Pass Man throw over to the other side. That's what I was thinking, but that is not the solution. Oh. The low tad said they can carry Pokemon while they swim. If we ask them to act like stepping stones for us, do you think we could get them to the other side? If we cross one at a time, I think they can handle the three of us. Alright, let's go talk to those low tad. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. E? Oh, they're so cute. Look, now we've got a low tad bridge. Low. It's telling us to walk across the leaves on their heads. Thanks, low tad. Low, low tad. Okay, I'm gonna cross now. Low tad. Low tad, low tad, low tad. Dang, they're strong. All right. All right. Thanks to those low tad, we made it across. Tim, ask Rachel about the hat. Hey, Rachel, is this Professor Gordon's hat? Yes, it's definitely the professor's. He said he and Slowpoke wear matching hats. Apparently, he's really picky about hats, too, and this one's his favorite. Oh, really? You better get this hat back to him, then. If you want to be a first-class guy, you gotta have a good hat. Okay. Gordon should be up ahead somewhere. Let's hurry, Tim. <clears throat> oh. That rubble looks like it collapsed recently. Do you think it collapsed naturally, or do you think someone did this? The professor might be just past here. But there's all this rubble and debris in the way. We won't be able to get through here. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Minier is asking for help. What's it saying? Well, usually this- Okay, it's the same dialogue. Oh, apparently it's lo lonely because it got separated from their family. Poor thing. Do you think we could get it back home if we helped get rid of its shell? We just need a way to break this shell. It'd be good if we could find a Pokemon strong enough to do that. Darn. What was that? It sounded like a Pokemon's cry. Darmanitan. Darmanitan. Galarian form. Snowball head. A Darmanitan. Darmanitan. It's really worked up. We better be careful so it doesn't see us. Darmanitan! I'm so bad at stealth missions. <laughs> Please don't be stealth. What's an ice Pokemon doing here? It sure seems angry. I feel like things could get ugly if it sees us. If we're gonna go any further, we better be careful not to let it spot us. Looks like there's plenty of places for us to hide, though. Guess that's something to be thankful for. Yeah, that's true. Let's keep out of its sight and get through here. Oh no. <laughs> hide from Darmanitan. Advance while hiding from Dermanitan. If Dermanitan finds you, you'll have to start over. Oh, God. 
If Darmanis not only notice, notices Pikachu, but not Tim, he'll still have to start over. Be careful, Pikachu runs slower than Tim. Yeah, because Pikachu is a fat ass. Oh no. I'm gonna be so bad. Pikachu. I'm stealthing. So good. Wait, where's the exit? Oh, it's, I think it's to top right. It's gotta be top right. Come on, go down. Yes, sir. Oh! Almost through. Oh, why? Okay, I gotta go around. Go, 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 go! We finally made it past. The, yeah, well, that was terrifying. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. This way looks like a dead end. Where could the professor have gone? I'm pretty sure we haven't passed him. Wait, huh? What is it, Pikachu? Did you feel a breeze just now? Oh no. No, I didn't feel anything. Are you sure you aren't imagining things? No, it was definitely real. I felt it ruffle my fur. There must be a gap somewhere. Come on, Tim. Let's search for it. I thought the Dormanitim was going to be, like, right behind us. <laughs> you know, it's October. We need a jump scare. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Tim, we found it. There's a gap in the wall here. Let me get a closer look. Excuse me. What do we do now? There's no way to get through a hole this small. What are you talking about? It's no problem at all. Huh? Just who do you think I am? Situations like this are where the great detective Pikachu truly shines. Are you sure you'll be okay? It looks pretty tough to crawl through. Like I always say, you gotta use those legs while investigating. Let me show you how it's done. If you insist. Well... I'll see you later. Man, I think his ass is too fat. Just be careful, all right? Blush. Oh, really? I should have seen this coming. Don't just stand there. Help me out of here. <laughs> Wait, just so we're clear, I do not want you to kick me. You want me to kick you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, the rest is up to you. Good grief. What? Uh, I can't believe a human? I ended up getting trapped in a place like this. Trevor Gordon, 
mineral archaeologist. Hey. Ah, oh, so that's Gord. I guess I should get a closer look. I've got to at least tell him that we're here to rescue him. Hey! Hey! Hmm? Uh, don't worry. We're here to help. A Pikachu? Where'd you come from? Huh? Are you dancing? <laughs> right. Huh, are, are you hungry or something? No, I'm not hungry. I've just come here to rescue you. I am sorry, little fella. I'd really like to help you, but I don't have any food to share. I dropped almost all the food I had on me when I was running from Darmanitan. I mean, that's probably what saved me, but still. Huh? What is he talking about? I swear that Darmanitans... Darmanitans... Darmanitan, Darmanitan. I swear that Darmanitan's whole attitude changed the moment it saw the food. It must have been hungry, just like you. So, Darmanitan's only rampaging because it's hungry. But if really was just hungry, I, it could have gone somewhere else to search for food. Why is it still sticking around here? It's already been two whole days. Darmanitan's gonna be tired of... Darmanitan's gotta be getting tired of this, too. Got it. So there's no food down here, which is why Darmanitan is hungry. But Darmanitan wouldn't choose a place with no food to be its home, so what is it doing here? Hmm. But the most important issue right now is how to save Gordon. I better look for an exit somewhere. Oh, leaving already. Be careful, little fella. Dramanitan's really on a rampage out there. You just wait here, Gordon. I'll figure something out. Hmm. Here's Gordon's bag. That's a proper adventurer's bag. It looks really cool. Sorry, Pikachu. There's no food in there. Ah, I wasn't asking for food. <laughs> he runs so slow. Oh, it's a dance. There's like footsteps. Hmm. As far as I can tell, this is the only doorway that Gordon can fit through. Hmm. Is this the rubble we saw earlier? Hmm. There's no gaps big enough for a person to fit through. I guess we need to figure out how to get all this rubble out of the way. There's no way Tim and I can clear it on our own. Now, if we were strong as Darmanitan, then we could probably- Wait. Wait a minute. Didn't Gordon say Darmanitan was hungry? And a slow poke gave me something earlier. I bet I could use this. I should get back to Tim right away. I just came up with a brilliant plan. We load Darmanitan with a slow poke jail. He crashes through the rubble. We all go home hunky-dory. <laughs> He's so slow. <laughs> Me when I run. Hmm. Oh, here's another mural. I'm just guessing here, but this might actually be another clue for some other kind of mechanism. This mural can wait till later. There's other stuff to deal with right now. Hey, Tim. <sighs> Phew. At least I managed to make it through by myself this time. I guess you must have figured out the trick to it. Anyway, how's the professor doing? Apparently, he's been trapped in there for two whole days. This is bad. We've got to hurry and save him. And the only way out is through that area that's blocked off by all the rubble. Oh no. There's no way to get him out. Don't panic, Tim. I've got a great plan. What is it? We're going to get Darmanitan to break through all that rubble for us. What do you mean? According to Gordon, that Darmanitan is really hungry. So we figured we could win it over by giving it some food. But the only food we have But the only food we have is a few leftover berries. Hey, aren't you forgetting about this? Slowpoke's tail. Yeah, it's really sweet. Just eating one makes you feel happy. So we'll feed this to the hungry Darmanitan. If we do that, we'll be friends in no time. I hope it's really that easy. Don't worry so much, Tim. Now, come on. Let's go back to Darmanitan. Okay. Attempt Pikachu's brilliant plan. This will be just perfect. Sure. Look. 
Gundor Dar Manitan. <laughs> hey, Dar Manitan! We're just taunting. Oh my god, it's, it's kind of difficult. Over here! Holy. Got something for you. <laughs> Better hurry before I eat it all up. <laughs> Here, it's yours, Ida. <laughs> oh, oh no. Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it worked at least. Yeah, all's well that ends well. Dormitara! <laughs> Darmanitan seems really happy. See? My plan worked out great. Sheesh, you know how to worry, people. Okay, Darmanitan. You understand now that we're not bad guys, right? Darman. Good, just wanted to be clear on that. More importantly, there's a bunch of things we're curious about. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Dar dar. Hey. You're not originally from this area, are you? What brought you here? Dar darman. Huh. Some people dressed in white caught you and shut you in a small place. What people dressed in white? Dharma dharma. Darmanitan doesn't know exactly where they are. But he hated the small space he was trapped in, so he ran away with the others who were stuck there. Huh. A small space. It must have been some sort of facility. Dar. It sounds like the people were doing experiments of some kind on the captured Pokemon. That's awful. You said there were others, Darmanitan. Are your friends around here too? Dar, dar. He says some friends escaped with him. And together you all froze the ruins. So you and your friends froze the ruins. Why would you do that? Dar Darman. He says they can't go back to where they came from. So they were trying to make this place their new home and made it easier for them to live here. <clears throat> but didn't you realize that would cause problems for the Pokemon that already live around here? Darman. He says they didn't think it'd be a problem if they only froze the place a little bit. But apparently it's been so long since they'd been able to have fun like that so they got carried away. They really didn't mean any harm. Even so, we can't just leave things like this. You're right. Hey, can you do something about all this ice? Dar. If you do that, this place will be too hot for you to live in. Can't you live somewhere else? Darn. Ah, he says he doesn't want to go anywhere else because there are humans out there. Hmm, this is a real problem. Hey. You said you were brought here against your will, but where did you live before? Darn. Hmm, I see. He says he came from somewhere cold and far away from here. I'm guessing his friends were captured and brought here along with him. Dar. Everywhere around here is too hot to live in, huh? Yeah, the climate here definitely isn't great for ice Pokemon. It'd be great if we could help them and get back to their original home. Hmm. What can you tell us about the people who brought you here? The one dressed in white? Dar, Darman. He doesn't know much, but he says they're all really bad people who were mean to him. It must have been a horrible experience. Dar dar. And apparently right when he arrived here, he saw someone suspicious. Wait, you trapped him in a room so he couldn't do anything bad? You don't think he's talking about Professor Gordon, do you? I'm certain he is. It fits with what Gordon said. Hey, Darmanitan, that wasn't a bad guy. Dar. Yeah, really, I can vouch for him. Darn. Does he believe you, Pikachu? I'm not sure. It seems like he's still not quite convinced. Wait, why is he, like, talking to Tim, though? Like, he... This Pokemon hates humans. How is he gonna trust us? <laughs> Thanks for telling us all that, Darmanitan. 
Now let's get down to the problem at hand. Darn. That man you said... The, that man you said you trapped in the room. You think you could help us let him out? Darman? Please, Darmanitan, we really need your help. Come on, we gave you that slowpoke tail, remember? You're the only one who can rescue the professor. Dar. Oh, good. I'm glad you trust us. Dar. But there's a condition? Dar, dar. Your friends all got separated in the ruins, and they haven't come back. And since you don't know where they are, you want us to help look for them, huh? Hmm, now that you mention it, haven't seen any other ice Pokemon besides Darmaniton here. He says they were all just playing around in the ruins. He's worried about them and wants to check on them, but he doesn't know where they are. Yeah, these ruins are pretty big. Darn. Okay, okay, I heard you. If that's all you want from us, I'm sure we can help you out. Dar. Yep, you got yourself a deal, Darmaniton. Ready, Darmaniton? I'm counting on you. Eat him. Now we're talking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> what a great view. A little cold, though. Just let me know what you want smashed. I can take out a boulder or a block of ice with just one punch. You're pretty confident in your strength, aren't you? Okay, let's see what you got, Darmaniton. Ride action. Press the R button to destroy brittle rocks and ice with Darmaniton's punches. First, go to the room where the professor is and destroy the rubble there. I'm gonna destroy everything. <laughs> Okay, actually, I won't. <laughs> but you know what I will do? I will tell some of you guys to follow the channel. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. If you're already following, turn notifications on. So that we don't miss a single stream. Here we are. This is the stuff you want me to break, right? Yeah. Can you do it? Oh yeah, this'll be easy. Then go for it, Darmaniton. Smash that rubble. Oh, easy! Alright, now we can rescue Gordon. Thanks, Darmaniton. I'd say you're welcome, but that'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Huh? When did the rubble go away? You just now noticed that? Well, anyway, now we can rescue Gordon. Please don't forget what I asked you, Pikachu. Of course not. Just wait a little bit. Ooh. Oh, Slowpoke. There you are. Slowpoke. <laughs> Slowpoke. 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 Oh my god, are they? Oh, I thought they were going to play the whole sequence. <laughs> that would have been a good bit. Professor Gordon, are you okay? Oh, Rachel, and you are... My name's Tim. I'm also a student at Rhyme University. We heard you hadn't been back in two days, so we came in here to check on you. Oh, you must have heard from Chris. I'm so sorry I worried you. But thanks to you, I'm safe. Although I admit it, I was done for when that Darmaniton came into the room. Darn. Don't worry about Darmaniton. Pikachu's already befriended him. Oh, I see. So the Pikachu I saw before was your partner. Sorry, I didn't realize that, Pikachu. Nah, it's fine. Professor, are you okay? <laughs> no need to worry about me. You say that like you haven't been trapped in this cold for two whole days. I've been all over the world for my field work. What can I say? I'm a tough guy. You're telling me. Is it alright if we ask you a few questions? I want to figure out exactly how this all happened. Yeah, of course. Right. So, where do you want me to start? Right. When I reached this floor, Darmaniton was also here for some reason. The moment that Darmaniton saw me, it suddenly started chasing after me. I tried to run out of the ruins, but before I knew it, the door had already closed behind me. 
With nowhere else to go, I ran into this room. Dude, how did you figure out the puzzles, though? Um... Why do you suppose Darmanitan chased after you? At first, I thought I wanted the food I had on me. But it's possible there is another reason. Well, what do you mean? Well, it hasn't left this place in two days. If it was hungry before, it's gotta be starving by now. Looking back, I think Darmanitan might have been trying to prevent me from going deeper into the ruins. It seemed really interested in coming back here. Hmm. Darmanitan didn't mention anything about something deeper in the ruins. Excuse me? Why were you here in the ruins in the first place, Professor? An interesting discovery is made recently regarding the geological strata of this area. It seems a large number of meteorites once fell around these parts a long time ago. Meteorites, huh? Yes, and it occurred around the same time that these ruins were built. That's why I wanted to come here and do some field research. Is there some connection between the meteorites and the ruins? It's too soon for me to say. I was hoping to figure that out with the survey. I did learn a few things during my research, though. The people who built these ruins had a deep connection with Augustlash. Oh yeah, we did see a relief of Augustlash. Augustlash's shield defends against misfortune, and its sword is a symbol of slashing that misfortune away. I believe this represents the people's hope for peaceful, protected lives. And at these ruins, these people... Those people held a very important ritual. Really? What kind of ritual? A ritual to strengthen the bonds between people and Pokemon. By working together and helping each other, people and Pokemon could overcome all sorts of trouble. So it's said that this, it's said that this ritual is meant to teach that way of thinking. That's a wonderful attitude. I agree. I believe that coexistence between Pokemon and humans is the overarching theme of these ruins. Our history has always been intertwined with that of Pokemon. I think our modern society could benefit from thinking more like these people did. Right. Sorry, I, I know I tend to ramble. No, I appreciate it. Now I've got a better understanding of the situation. By the way, what made you come all the way out here? Actually, there was something we wanted to ask you about, Professor. Oh, what, what would that be? A precious jewel was recently stolen in Rhyme City. We were wondering if you could tell us what exactly that jewel is. Sure, I'll help you if I can. Thank you. Here's a photo of the jewel. Professor, can you tell us anything about <clears throat> what's in this photo? Hmm? Incredible! That's no ordinary jewel. It's a fabled crystal that some believe is actually a Pokemon. <clears throat> Ain't no a way. Pokemon? <clears throat> You're saying this jewel is actually a Pokemon? I am. In fact, according to one hypothesis, this crystal may have fallen from space just like a meteorite. Some say the crystal will assume its true shape if it's, if it's imbued with a special energy. I've never seen it in that state myself, though. It never even occurred to me that the Aurora Drop might even be a Pokemon. I wonder if the thief knew that when they stole it. And if so, what did they want it for? Hmm, the questions just keep piling up. Is that all you wanted to ask me about, Tim? Yes, thanks so much for your help. Well then, Professor, we should get back to Chris. No. I'll I'll let you tell Chris that I'm alright. I'm so close to unlocking the secrets of these ruins. Since I've already made it this far, I'd like to finish before I head back. You can't be serious. Are you sure you're alright? I told you, this is really nothing. Thanks to you all, I can freely explore the ruins now. I don't want to waste another minute. Oh, come on. I heard he was passionate about his research, but this is ridiculous. Wow, he's really determined to stay. Dar dar. Oh, you really want to start searching for your friends, huh? Darman. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as ever. Tim, why don't you and Rachel stay here for a bit and keep an eye on Gordon? In the meantime, I'll go and keep my promise to Darmanitan. Okay, we can't just leave the professor here after all. Right? Then it's settled. Okay, let's go, Darmanitan. Dar dar. Finally, Pikachu missions. Hey. <laughs> he looks so stupid. Okay. Do you have any idea where your friends might be? They all said they were going upstairs. I think they're still there. And what kind of Pokemon are these friends of yours? Ooh. 
Vanillite, Mr. Mime, Bergmite, and Smoochum. Vanillite, Mr. Mime, Bergmite, and Smoochum. We didn't see any Pokemon like that on our way here. Do you think they could have gone outside? I don't think so. They'd probably be scared of going outside because they could run into humans out there. So they must be hiding somewhere. Okay, let's look for them upstairs. Yeah. Thanks, Pikachu. There was no upstairs area. Punch. Damn it. This wall looks different from the others. Oh, that's a mural drawn by humans. It's got a message in it, too. How the There was no, like, route for upstairs. Oh, I didn't see the left room at all earlier. <laughs> Pikachu's vase. <laughs> <clears throat> Pikachu, can we go back to our pond now? Oh yeah, sorry, thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Wait, oh wait, how do we get across now? It's okay, leave it to me. It's water, so if I do this. Easy. There now, we can cross. All right, freezing water is not a problem for an ice Pokemon. <laughs> Figures. Yeah, I didn't get to explore here at all. Oh wait, no, I did. I forgot. This wall looks different from the others. Oh, that's a mural drawn by some humans. It's got a message in it too. Man, I'm so hungry. On B1. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Oh, there- this was the downstairs area. Okay, I was confused. I thought it was all one level. I think everyone's somewhere on this floor. They might be hiding in places that are hard to find. Got it. Let's search carefully. Thanks, Pikachu. No problem. It's my turn to help you out now. There's one up there. Can't talk to him. Oh, wait, I can punch. Nope. 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 That ain't it. Oh, gotta be someone in here. What? Oh, here she is. Huh? I don't see anyone. I think she's just sleeping. Hey. Vonalite, wake up. Oh, it's so cute. Hmm, is that you, Dar Manitin? Vanillite. Sleeps soundly beneath the snow. Hey. Well, there was a vanillite inside all that snow. Now that I think about it, I guess I have heard that vanillite usually sleep in snow. Oh, you have a Pikachu with you. Anyway, did you need something, Darmanitan? I haven't seen you in a while, so we just came to see how you were doing. Now that we've found you, do you mind answering a couple of questions? You want to ask me something? Hey. What were you doing here? I was having fun making it snow. It's been a long time since I've had a wide open space to play in. So that's why there's been so much snow in here. Then I got tired from all that playing and went to sleep. You weren't in danger or anything? No, nothing like that. You're such a warrior war time, Manitin. Hey. So, the other Pokemon aren't with you? No, I was the only one playing in this room. I see. Guess the other Pokemon are in other rooms, then. Wow. 
Huh? Huh. Did you hear someone crying just now? Yeah, I did. It's coming from inside the ice. There might be someone inside. Can you break this ice, Darmanitan? Yep, no problem. Oh. Smooch him. Hmm, pucker up. Lush. Oh, darn, Manitin, thank you for rescuing me. We've been looking for you, Smooch. I'm so glad we found you. I sure didn't expect to find you inside the ice. Hmm? Who's that growing out of your head, darn, Manitin? This is Pikachu. He's helping me look for everyone. Yeah, nice to meet you. I know this is pretty sudden, but do you mind if I ask you some questions? What do you want to ask me? Hey. How did you get inside that ice? I wanted to make myself a house out of shiny, sparkly ice. So I kept making the ice bigger and bigger, but then I couldn't get out. I was so lonely. There, there, you're safe now, so no need to cry. Hey. Is there anyone else here with you? No, nobody. That's why I couldn't get out. What's with this weird boulder? It definitely looks different from all the others. Can I smash this one too? Yeah, it should be fine, just be careful. Russell carries its tough, adorable home. Ah. Huh? Did that boulder just talk? That's not a boulder, that's a crustle! It's a Pokemon that lives in a boulder it carries on its back. Goodness gracious, what do you think you're doing? You could have smashed my favorite boulder here. What would I have done then? We're sorry, we didn't really mean any harm. Please forgive him. Well, I never. Phew, guess you'd better check next time before you punch a boulder. I didn't know there was a Pokemon that carried boulders on its back. If you break my beautiful boulder, I'm going to be very, very upset. Yeah, we'll be more careful from now on. Hey. And that's some really thick ice. I'm pretty sure I can break it with a punch. Really? Then please do, Darmanitan. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button. Is that Mr. Mime? What? Nani? Hey, hey. I wanna talk to the Ursa Ring first. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ursa. Huh? Where am I? What what was I doing? Oh good, looks like it's okay. Seems a bit groggy though. What should we do? Let's see what it has to say first. We'll get a better idea of how it's doing. Hey Ursa Ring, your friend is looking for you. What? Oh right, I suppose I haven't been back for a while. You should get back to your friend so it can stop worrying. Right, I'll, I'll do that. Plus one. Should we go check in with that Ursa Ring outside the ruins too? Um, not now. That's okay, maybe I'll check back later. <clears throat> Bergmite, ice cold shyness. Oh, if it isn't our Manitan, and who might you be? I'm the great Detective Pikachu, Darmanitan's new friend. Everyone was taking so long to come back that I got worried, so I came looking for you. Pikachu's been helping me search. 
Oh, sorry to have put you through all that trouble. You see, we weren't able to leave this room. What in the world happened? Can you tell me? What would you like to know? Hey. Why were you walled in here? I was trying to make this place more comfortable to live in. So Mr. Mime and I worked together to make a wall of ice. Mr. Mime was pr practically putting on a show. I tried to match that energy, but we both got carried away and ended up making too much ice. And that's how you got stuck. I'm glad you're both okay. Hey. Are you two the only ones in this room? Yeah, just me and Mr. Mime. Man, this Mr. Mime is wild. My mom. Mr. Mime, Galarian form. Tappity tap, tapping away. I don't like his face. He looks like an Animal Crossing character with a triangle nose. Oh, darn, and our hero. We've been stuck here for ages. Thank you so much for saving us. Allow me to express my gratitude with a tap dance. Oh, that's right. Ice type Mr. Mime are supposed to be good at tap dancing. You don't need to. You don't need to dance. I'm just glad you're safe. So the shadow we saw beyond the ice was actually Mr. Mime. Hmm. I don't believe this Pikachu and I have been introduced. That's because Darmanitan and I have only one, have only just become friends. That's a story for another time. Can I ask you some questions? Well, what do you want to know? Hey. What were you doing here? That Bergman over there was. That Bergmite over there was trying to cool his rum down. So I offered to help him make a big wall of ice together. We really made an effort. But apparently there's such a thing as too much effort. It never occurred to me that we wouldn't be able to get out. So. You two made the ice, huh? What a pair of troublemakers. Hey. Are you two the only ones in this room? Yes, it's just me, Mr. Bergmite here. Hey. Have we found all your friends? Yeah. All the ones I wanted help looking for. All the ones you... Huh? Now that we know everyone's safe, why don't we head back? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> He's like, we don't need to find my enemies. They can stay frozen in ice. <laughs> Based. I want to see if I can go outside. With Dara Manitan. And talk to Pokemon. I do think the Pikachu missions are my favorite. Eldegoss. When the weather is bad, it causes so much trouble for everyone here. You look warm, though. I'd love to have some of that caught myself. Dude, the <laughs> Pikachu in his head is will never not be funny. Who are you? I haven't seen your face around these parts before. I just started living here recently. <coughs> well, well, there's plenty of food to go around, so you can live here as long as you like. That's kind of you to say, but I doubt Darmanitan can live in a climate like this. We need to think of a solution. Pass. Try not to cause too much trouble. We're still missing one Cleffa. It's probably inside the ruins somewhere. Oh, Pikachu, you've grown much bigger in the short time since I last saw you. Take another look, Munchlax. I'm just riding on top of Darmanitan. And you're so round and white. Like a big, delicious scoop of ice cream. Mind if I have a little taste? What? Hey, I'm not food. This fellow really doesn't think about anything other than food, does he? <laughs> Classic Munchlax. Munch. Think something so rounded white sure makes me hungry. <laughs> Classic Munchlax. <laughs> there are three of them in total. Please find them for me. Okay, just wait a bit. Hey, Pikachu. My friend got back safe. Glad to hear it, Ursa Ring. I'm about to explain that we've got to be more careful from now on. Thanks for your help, Pikachu. Yes. 
I feel bad for making my friend worry so much. Hey. It's okay, Ursa Ring. I'm sure your friend's not upset at you. Thanks. I'm still gonna be more careful from now on, though. Let's talk to... Can I talk to Kud Tukin? Tukin on? No. Lotad. Thanks for your help earlier, Lotad. Let us know if there's anything else we can do to help. We're always happy to make new friends. Let's all sing together. Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, we don't have time to play right now. Oh, I guess you're right. Lota. Come back to play any time. I'll make sure my swaddling dress warmly for the time being. Yeah, that's a good idea when it's cold. You can be careful not to catch a cold yourself either. I will. Thank you. Oh! I didn't realize you can punch those. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <gasps> the final cleffa. You scared me. Oh, there's a cleffa hiding here. Oh, I was sure nobody would find me here. You found a good hiding spot, but not good enough. Besides, you got plans you gotta be late for. What? Is it that late already? Thanks for telling me. See ya. Hey. I think we found all the cleft we were asked to find. Let's head back and see how things are going. Thanks for finding everybody. We found all the cleft that were playing hide and seek for you. Yeah, we're about to head out on a trip to a hill that's kind of far away. We go there a lot because the view is so pretty at night with lots of shooting stars. I see. I hope you're able to see some tonight. I'm just happy to see you all so pleased. Okay, now that I know that I can smash those rocks, I wonder what else is hiding. Okay. Okay. Nothing. I love gotcha. <laughs> what? A shuckle stretches out to say hello. Good thing I went back. What's going on? Huh? A Pokemon came out of that rock. A shuckle? I guess it was inside that boulder. Well, you really startled me. If you're gonna wake me up, be gentler about it next time. We're sorry, we had no idea you were in there. Sorry for breaking your rock. Don't worry about it. I was just thinking it was about time to get up. More importantly though, why is it so cold? Did I sleep all the way until winter? No, it's just a bit of bad weather. It'll be okay. Really? Thank goodness. But still, it's way too cold right now. I better make myself some nice nutritious juice to perk myself up. Oh right, I remember. Shuckle can make all sorts of different juices inside their shells. Really? Sounds tasty. You know what else is pretty tasty? Some yummy ads, because guys, we are another hour in the stream. So if it is time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing on the phone. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for with Prime. Click subscribe! See if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if you're new here, click the follow button. Do that first. Okay. I think we are almost done with this mini arc. We'll see. <clears throat> Dar Manitan. <laughs> Should I become a voice actor? Type one. Get back to it. I love my Pokemon. I can't talk to Zigzagoon. Who? What? What are you? Who are you two? Are you the beam of hope that will pierce through the dark sorrow in my heart? Oh. What? Whoa, he's looking at us with desperation in his eyes. You think we should avoid him? 
Wait, please, wait. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but please lend me your immeasurable power. Could you find it in your heart to break open boulders and bring me any fossils you find? My partner Zigzagoon's toes are frozen stiff from the cold. Look at my paws! Mm. Oh wow, those are some icy looking toes. And so I need your help. I beg of you. It really does sound desperate. Yep, looks like we've just been made honorary fossil excavators. He's really counting on your punching power. Normally I'll break the boulders myself, but I just can't do it right now. Please, won't you help us? It's hard to say no to that. Sure, we'll help you. But which boulder should I break? True, we're not experts. We can't tell by looking which ones are likely to have fossils in them. I guess we just gotta break any boulder that looks like a likely candidate. Got it. I'll be careful not to break the fossils along with the boulders. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Oh, you're willing to help? I've been searching for an armor fossil and a skull fossil. Please find them for me. Okay, so I would have had to break all the boulders anyway. Nice. Return! 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 Here, you two look really suspicious. What are you doing here anyway? It's still really wary of us. We're not gonna do anything to you. Ah. More. Gotta eat more. And <laughs> that's a funny looking Pokemon. It's so focused on eating that it doesn't seem to have noticed us at all. Weird. Return! Where are the fossils? Don't date this dog. Ooh. Huh? Some sort of flat rock came out. What is this? It just looks like a rock to me. Huh, I don't know. Its shape seems too distinct to be just a rock. I think we should at least show it to that collector guy. Hey, where are you going? We don't need to go that way right now. Okay. One more fossil. There's probably boulders inside as well. Wait! The rock is back! <laughs> That's so D1. Huh? There's something here! What's this pretty rock? And why has it got junk stuck inside it? I've never, I've never seen a rock like this before. It might be one of those fossils the collector was talking about. Let's go show him. Okay, so I, I had to talk to the guy first. Oh, you're the detective's Pikachu! Wait, what? Darn managing to give Pikachu a ride on his head? I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I came here today. This made it all worth it. Sheesh. Uh, glad to hear it. Okay, I think I did all the side missions. Yep, all the side missions. Besides the fossil one, of course. Oh, it's you two. Have you discovered anything? Hmm. Well, we did find that strange rock earlier. You mean this pretty stone? Sure, I'll show it to him. Here you go. Is that really old amber? This fossil contains the DNA of the dinosaur Pokemon Aerodactyl. It's a fearsome, ferocious Pokemon that ruled the skies in prehistoric times. However, this is not what I've been searching for. Uh. Huh. Guess we didn't hit the jackpot. But he looks so happy. Humans are so sure are complicated. I'm sorry. And after you went out of your way to find that and bring it to us. Darmanichan, show him that flat rock we found. Just looks like a rock you could find anywhere. Here. Oh, oh my goodness! That's an armor fossil! If you restore this fossil, it'll become a Pokemon called Shielda. It says to have an incredibly durable face that can withstand even the strongest attacks. Apparently, it's a fossil of a super tough Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. But it really does look just like a rock. You two are good at finding fossils! 
please, please, help me with my fossil collection. Sheesh. What an intense stare. Yeesh. Okay, so there's one more. Uno mas. Oh, there's a whole bunch here. Yes. Hello. Oh, whoa. Some kind of rock came tumbling out. What's this? Let's play kickball with it. No, wait, don't don't kick it away. It looks different from the other rocks. It's a bit of a walk, but let's go show this to that collector. Hello. Solar rock. Pines. Pins for the sun. Pines for the sun. I miss the sun so much. Oh, a soul rock. You don't look too happy. Well, the weather's been awful here for a while now, you know? Because of that, I haven't been able to soak them out of sunlight. I've got no energy now. But isn't it better if it's snowing all the time? Soul rock is powered by solar energy. It's built differently from you and your friends from colder climates. Oh wow, I didn't know there were Pokemon like that. Yeah, we should, like, leave and never come back. You've ruined this whole ecosystem, man. Darmanitan is an asshole. He's just naive. But that's okay. That's why learning is good. If you're clueless, educate yourself. Change for the better. Oh, well, now, I've been waiting for you. Any discoveries? Darmanitan, do you have that round rock we found? You want me to give this to him? Okay, here. Oh, well, as I live and breathe, this is a rare and valuable skull fossil. If you restore this fossil to become a Kranidos, it's said to be tremendously powerful, able to pulverize anything with just a headbutt. Sounds like it gave you a run for your money in terms of power, Darmanitan. It must have been a really amazing Pokemon. This fossil is, a re is in remarkably good condition, too. It sounds like you found something really wonderful for us. Thank you so much. Now I've got both a skull and an armor fossil. Marvelous. What a tremendous haul. I can present these findings at the next academic conference. This will do wonders to further the progress of all research into fossil Pokemon. Don't worry. I'll be sure to properly credit you for your contributions. Wink. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I didn't end up making my partner sad. Derma. They both seem really happy. Does that mean we did something good? We sure did. And it's all thanks to you, Darmanitan. Easy. Another happy customer. Okay, now we can go back to Tim. I think I've done all the Pokemon missions. <coughs> I do like the music in this game. Let's be honest, the music is the only good part about this game. Got him! <laughs> Hold it, wait. I think I saw Zubat flying. Yep, those are Zubats. Tell Tim and the others right away. Oh, now we're like legit trapped. Hmm. Oh no. Why did the door suddenly close like that? Do you think you're strong enough to open that door? Nuh uh. 
Even I couldn't open a door that big. Yeah, I figured. I better go discuss this with Tim. Let's go back to the other store, Manitan. Hmm. I mean, the only thing that would have caused the door to close would have been, like, the fruits moving from the statues. I've got bad news, Tim. The door to the ground floor just closed. What? Is that what that big rumbling sound was? Yeah, that was the door shutting tight. But why would it do that? No idea. It just kinda happened. What do we do? We gotta find a way out. Maybe we should try talking to Gordon? He might know something we don't. Good idea. I'll see what he has to say. I see. So that rumble really was the door closing. Did you suspect that already, Professor? Yes, because the same thing happened when I came down to this floor. There was suddenly a deep rumbling sound and then I was trapped down here on this floor. And that must have been one of the two rumbling sounds Slowpoke said he heard. Isn't there another exit? I believe so, yes. Do you know where? There may be one of the deepest room of the ruins. It says that these ruins were originally built to host a ritual that strengthens the bond between people and Pokemon. There's an ancient document describing the ritual and I found one line particularly interesting. Solve all the riddles in the deepest place and find yourself back in the sun's embrace. The sun's embrace must be a reference to the outside. I see. So if we solve all the riddles in the ruins, we might be able to find an exit and get out of here. Yes, if that document is to be believed. I wonder what kind of riddles that's referencing. I'm not sure, but I'm curious about the two murals on this floor. I can't say for certain that they're related to the riddles of the ritual, but there must be some meaning or other. There's the mural in this room and one in the other room. Why don't you take a good look at them both? Thanks, Professor. We'll investigate them right away. Thank you. I'll stay here and ponder these riddles a bit more. If you find anything, come let me know. Of course. It just never ends, does it? According to Gordon, it seems like there are clues in the murals. Yeah, the mural in this room, and the mural in the other room. I think we'll be able to find a way out of here if we can figure out what those two murals mean. Let's go investigate, Tim. Be back to work. It's a mural depicting a human. Let's see if it can give us any clues about the exit. Okay. I bet we can find some important hints here. Let's examine this closely. <sighs> this looks like a drawing of a human. Yeah, the style is similar to the relief we saw in the entrance, too. It looks like there's a pedestal or something under its feet. Maybe it's depicting a statue of a human? Hmm. The Passamian murals all corresponded to specific statues, so maybe there's a human statue somewhere too. We saw some reliefs of a human carved into a wall, but I don't remember seeing any statues. Hmm. These look like footprints. Based on the direction they're pointing, it looks like they're walking away from the human. But they're zigzagging everywhere. I think there's some meaning to that weird path. I wonder if the door drawn here is supposed to be the exit of the ruins. Hey. Seems that way. But we haven't been anywhere that looks like this. Where could the exit be then? All right. I think that's all there is to see here. <coughs> hmm. It's a mural depicting a Pokemon. 
This might be a clue about the exit. Let's check it out. Hey. Now think really hard as you examine this. <sighs> it's an image of a Pokemon. Is this meant to be a Clefairy? Well, there, there were those reliefs of Clefairy carved into the entrance. But this mural, what's that shape under Clefairy's feet? It looks like some sort of pedestal. Maybe it's depicting a statue of Clefairy? The Passamion murals are representing statues, so maybe this one is too. If that's the case though, there should be an actual statue somewhere. Maybe we just haven't found it yet. Hmm. Do you think this drawing represents a door? Hmm, what else could it be? <laughs> there was a drawing like this on the mural with the human too. If that's the exit, we should be able to get it through there if we solve the last puzzle. Are these Pokemon footprints? Hey. I think we can be pretty sure of that. They remind me of the ones in the mural of the human we saw earlier. They're taking a weird path. Do you think that means something? All right. I think that's all there is to see here. Okay, let's start deducing. Let's start. Okay, let's start let's deducing. Start deducing. <clears throat> hmm. Well, we've examined both murals. Did you learn anything? The murals seem to be hinting at something. Let's figure out what it is together. The way to the exit. Okay, that's pretty clear. To move the statues. Or the locations of the statue. Um, to move the statues. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure. Both murals depict footprints moving away from a statue. Could that mean we need to move the statues in the same direction as the footprints? Hmm. The footprints are moving away from the statues, so we should move the statues in the same direction. I think you might be onto something there. But we still got one problem, and it's a big one. Yeah, we don't know where those statues are. Exactly. Even if we understand the clue, it's useless if we can't find the mechanism itself. There's gotta be a room on this floor somewhere that has those statues. Nothing in the murals indicates that, though. Hmm. Then where the heck are those statues? No say. I see. So you figured out what the murals mean, but you still don't know where the exit is. Right, and we already looked through every room down here. I'm not sure where else we can look. The old document said that the exit was in the deepest room, but... The deepest, huh? Wait a second. Have we really searched all the rooms? Hmm. I can't be too sure until we look around a bit more. Why don't we try looking at the deepest room in the ruins one more time, Tim? This is the room we were in when you went to get check on the professor, right? This room is the farthest back from the entrance to the ruins, which makes it the deepest, I think. We should probably look around here again. We saw that hole in the next room before, but we might find something else. Okay, let's give it another once over. Thanks, Tim. Can't say I know exactly what we're looking for, but let's pay close attention to the walls and the floor. I think we need our Manitim. Tim, over here. I can feel a breeze, even though we're underground. What strange ruins. There's a wall of ice here. Doesn't look like there's another room in this direction. It really is a big hunk of ice, though. You think Mr. Mime and Bergmine Bergmi made it? Wait. Maybe this wall is... What is it, Pikachu? Hold on. I feel like I'm on the brink of an epiphany. The puzzles and the murals. Also, the big reveal? A maze with a dead end. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Of course. 
It all makes sense now. A bolt of brilliance! <laughs> There's a mechanism on the other side of this wall! Oh. <laughs> Editor, put in some Mooney Towns sound effects, please. <laughs> If the mechanism is on the other side of this ice wall, then what we thought was a real wall is just a thick slab of ice. This is the only wall that's completely frozen over. Don't you find that odd? I'm sure this wall is the same as the one in Mr. Mime's room. So this is nothing but ice. It sure looks like a wall to me. I mean, we don't have any proof yet, but... There is one way to find out. Go ahead and do what you do best, Star Manitin. What's wrong? We really need your strength right now. Why isn't he talking? Oh, wait, this is human POV. Pikachu seems to be asking him to break down the wall of ice. But Darmanitan's not even trying to do it. Maybe he doesn't want to break this ice? Darman. <clears throat> Apparently there's something in there and he's not sure it's a good idea to let us in. Seems like Darmanitan is still wary of humans. Darmanitan, please listen! I know you can't understand what I'm saying, but we don't mean you or your friends any harm. Dar. If we make it out of here, I'm making my personal mission to help you. I'll take care of you and all your friends, I swear. Tim, do you think your Pikachu could put in a good word for us? Please, Darmanitan, we're all friends here. Dar. Sounds like he's on board. So you really did understand our feelings. Darman. Give it what for, Darmanitan. Kill him. Manitan! Whoa. Amazing! Magnificent! What a sight! <laughs> wow. So there was a room here after all. Just like I said. Pretty impressive, Pikachu. There should be some... There should be a mechanism in this room that we can activate. Huh? Ice cube. Ice poker face. Wait! I promise we're not gonna hurt you! Shaking just now. Oh, that shaking felt just like when the door closed before. Ice Scoop caused that somehow, right? Yeah, I stepped on some kind of switch on the floor. Dardard. He's saying that Ice Cube didn't mean to shut us in here, so we shouldn't blame her. Don't worry, we're not blaming her for anything. Was Darmanitan hesitant to break the wall because of Ice Scoop? Dardar. He says Ice Coo's even more afraid of humans than the rest of the ice Pokemon are. That's why he built a huge wall of ice so no one else can get in this room. It might be good to hear Ice Coo's stories too. I just hope we can convince her to trust us. <clears throat> we can try talking to her while we're solving the mystery of the mechanism. Oh wait, I need Pikachu. Nice. You don't need to be scared, Ice Koo. We're friends of Darmanitan. Koo? Yes, really. Could you please trust us? Koo? It's okay if it's just a few questions, huh? Hey! Have you been in this room the whole time? Ice Koo? Oh, okay. You all came in through the hole in the ceiling. Koo Koo. And then all the others left the room, but you stayed here because you were too scared. So you got Darmanitan to make you a big wall of ice to keep you safe inside. She must have been really terrified. You don't need to be scared anymore, Ice Koo. We're here to rescue you. Koo? Yeah, really. 
So cheer up, Ice Koo. We've got your back. Ice? Aw, look, she's smiling a little. Really? I, I can't really tell from her face. <laughs> Take that mask off, Ice Koo. <laughs> so, Darmanitan's been protecting you this whole time. Nice. And he made sure to stay nearby, too, to make you feel safe. Nice, nice. And it's thanks to Darmanitan that you're able to escape from the people and white. I can see why you're intent on repaying him someday. But you know, he doesn't expect anything in return, right? Old. Oh, it reset. <clears throat> Yo. Oh, can I? How do I replay dialogue? Here. That lasts in one second? Yeah. <laughs> At least I'm back. Okay, I'll, I'll reread it. So, Darmanitan's been protecting you this whole time. Eyes. And he made sure to stay nearby, too, to make you feel safe. Eyes, eyes. And it's thanks to Darmanitan that you're able to escape from the people in light. I can see why you're intent on repaying him someday. But you know, he doesn't expect anything in return, right? That's not why he did it. Don't do anything too rash. Eyes. Hey. Where are the humans who captured you all? Eyes, eyes. Really far away, huh? You walked for days before you found this place. Eyes. Just the thought of those humans might come here really scares you. Don't worry. If they show up here, we'll send them packing. Nice. There's a big hunk of ice here. Ice Scoop probably made it. It really is big, though. I'm surprised she could make something of the scale. Okay, it's easy. We talk to Darmanitan. And then he breaks the ice. Dardar. -dar. Oh. You all got in here through the hole in this room's ceiling. Darman. And you're sorry you didn't tell us about this room, even though you knew about it. Don't worry about it, Darmanitan. We know you were look just looking out for your friend. Um... This is the tree that Aizuku was up in. It's pretty amazing that a tree this big could grow in an underground room like this. Well, look, there's light coming in where the roof collapsed. The light must have... That light must be what helped the tree grow so big. It's the Clefairy statue. Just like in the mural. This is definitely the right room, then. Now we just have to move this statue exactly how the mural showed. There must be a human statue, too. Where do you think that is? It's gotta be in this room somewhere. Let's look around. It's in the ice! It's in the ice. You'd have to be clueless. <clears throat> this must be the exit out of the ruins. <laughs> it's no good. This thing's not gonna open unless we figure out that mechanism. We've looked over the we've looked all over the room, but I didn't see a statue of a human anywhere. There has to be one though. Let's talk to Gordon again. Good idea. Bruh, it's literally here. It's literally here. Ah! Right. Hey, Professor, we can't find one of the statues depicted in the murals. Do you have any idea where it might be? Unfortunately, I don't. Hmm. Even Gordon's stumped. Many aspects of this place differ from what I expected based on my preparatory research. Like that wall of ice, for example. Why don't we try talking this through, Tim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. What exactly did you want to talk about? For starters, I just want to ask for your help. All right, Tim. Do you think you can use your detective skills to help us get out of here? Yes, it's in the ice block! Sure. With you two working together, I'm sure we'll find the way out. I'm not a baby. Based on what we've experienced so far, we should be able to get out if we can Hmm, I forward. wonder. I wonder if there are any clues in this room. I wonder. <laughs> what in this room could be the key to the puzzle? Hmm.
the door? Damn it! Really? I don't see the connection. <laughs> Think back to what we saw during our investigation. Oh no. Darmanitan. God! Really? I don't see the connection. Think back to what we saw during our investigation. Oh wait, the Clefairy statue! Okay, I thought... I didn't think they meant the literal key. Oh my god. Wasn't there a mural depicting a Clefairy statue and some footprints? That mural may be the key to solving the mystery of this room. Ain't no way. I think you're right. The tiles here match the squares in that mural too. If that's the case... The mural in the room I was in must be related too. Wow! However, looking around, I'm not seeing a statue of a human in here. I wonder where it is. It's hidden in the ice. It's literally in the same spot as the picture. It's just covered with ice. Do you remember where the human statue was located in the mural itself? Of course I remember. I was staring at that thing for two days straight. The human statue was in the second row from the top, on the leftmost side of the mural. And if we assume these tiles are laid out the same as those in the mural... There! That chunk of ice! Wow! Alright, looks like you're up, Dharma! Manna So it was hiding here the whole time. Okay, so we've got the two statues, but what are we supposed to do now? I'm sure the murals must have a clue I wonder how the mechanism works. <laughs> what should we do with the two statues? Move them, walk towards them, take the statues to the murals, or walk away. Move the We literally deduced this earlier. Do a mural. There are footprints depicted in the murals. They must indicate the past to move the stone statues. What? So that's what they represent. Let's give it a try. Hey, Tim. Come give me a hand. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. They're holding hands. Oh, what's going on? Nothing's happening. Huh. I was sure that would work. Now that I see the two statues next to each other, the way they're posed looks somehow meaningful. Isn't coexistence between humans and Pokemon a recurring theme in these ruins? Yeah, the decor and artifacts here all attest to that. You see it too, don't you, Tim? You must <laughs> hold hands. What should we do after moving the statues? Create the missing hand and connect the statues. Knock the statues together. Put berries in front of the statues or top the ground with statues. Um... Hold hands. A pose that symbolizes coexistence between humans and Pokemon. Something that represents both sides cooperating, working hand in hand. Hmm. That's it. The Use the statues to hold hands. But the left statue's hand is missing. What can we do about that? Make it out of ice. Could we use a Pokemon move? Good idea, Rachel. And we've got the perfect allies right here with us. Burma. Oh. That includes me, right? So then, who should we ask for help? <clears throat> it's 
Slowpoke can soak the statues. No. Pikachu can hold hands. If <coughs> if Pikachu touches the statue, his electricity might activate the mechanism. No, he has no powers. Darmanikin can use his strength as a chisel. If Darmanikin uses his strength to chisel down the Clefairy statue arm, he can be shaped into a small hand. Or Ice Q can use a move to freeze the statues. Ice Q can cover her head in ice. If she uses ice to connect the statues where the hands would meet, she can make the statues hold hands. Ice Q. That's it. Let's ask Ice Q to help. But literally all of them have ice, ice powers. It has to be Ice Q because, you know, Ice Q hated us, but now she loves us. I see. I hadn't thought of that. Huh. You got this, Ice Q! Lecture though. <laughs> oh, I'd love it's to. Like, see I can that. talk to Pokemon. He's like the crazy guest speaker that Unis will pay to come in. Yes. yes. Hold on. I heard someone talking what behind us. I mean, huh? The scientist. I, I'm sorry, sir. You let those ice Pokemon escape. You're getting <laughs> sloppy. Well, well, we did retrieve the meteorite. Get back here now. That guy'd be any boss here. Boop. Now what? Oh, Detective Pikachu, bring you and me some respect. Listen up, pal. Hand over that Pikachu, and I'll let you walk out of here. What did you say? Are you really sure threatening us is a good idea? <laughs> Kill him! Pikachu. Pikachu, get him! Alright! Okay, I'm getting ready for QTEs. Yeah, he would have like died in there. Chris, sorry to worry. You. Chris is kind of a bad like partner. <laughs> huh. Well, we managed to get out after all. Yeah, but who was that man just now? Do you think he was one of the people in white that Darmanitan was talking about? Sure seems that way to me. He must have come looking for Darmanitan and the others. Right, but what for? First the Aurora drop and now this? Feels like we're caught in the middle of a bunch of stuff we don't understand. What should Dermanitan and his friends do now? I'll make sure they're okay. Thank you so much, Professor! Yes, well, I've got to set a good example for my students, you know. If the Professor takes all the ice Pokemon home, 
The ruins should return to normal soon, too. <clears throat> yeah, and Montferno will be able to come back. Darn. Now then, you should get home. That man from before is still around here somewhere. And for all we know, is he has friends around, too. You're right. Thanks for all your help, Professor Gordon. Hey, you're the one that saved me. You're certainly an interesting student. My office door will always be open to you, so please, stop by any time. We'll be right here, Tim, so just say the word when you're ready to go home. Okay, I think I have done all the- yes, I've done all the missions. I think I'm ready to go home. Yes. Are you ready to go home, Tim? Yes, sir? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> you know, today was really fun. Really? It was touch and go there for a bit. I know, right? It was so exciting. Plus, I got to learn about what kinds of things you're usually up to. You better hit me up for your next case, too. Huh. I'm not so sure about that. Don't worry, I'm just messing around. I know I'd just be a bother if I tagged along every time. Anyway, let's go home. Yeah, she, like, didn't do anything. She, like, did nothing. Legit. <clears throat> Second Avenue. Rhyme City. What? Later that evening. Uh-oh. Huh? Aliens! Hey, up there! Mew too? Huh? What's that behind it? Is that the mayor? Oh no! Oh no! They're coming this way! Everyone, take cover now! Jeffrey! Dad! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing with my dad? Be true. Don't let them interfere. Attack! Here! Hey! What just happened? Why did you have Harry? <laughs> Terrible. Pokemon battling in the city? It's just like Mayor Myers told us. Pokemon have to be managed. This is not good. Ooh. You need to get out of here. So it would seem. Do not worry about that human. He's not just a human, though. He's Tim, my father. Does Pikachu actually know Mewtwo? You could say that. That's incredible. Ah, uh, yes. But where'd those guys take my dad? How can I get my father back? There must be something I can do. With all the unrest gripping the city, the police have got to know something. Of course. I'll just talk to Inspector Holiday. He's bound to know something useful.
the next morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll pause here for today. Oh, wait, I can't pause during dialogue. That's actually so D1. <laughs> Good morning, Pikachu. Wow, you look awful. Had trouble sleeping? I couldn't stop thinking about this whole business with Dad. I noticed you were out late again last night. I'm guessing you're having the same problem. Yeah, I just needed some alone time, you know, to gather my thoughts. There's a lot of strange stuff going on. You got some shady group collecting meteorites and Pokemon for starters. Then there's Cramorant swallowing that jewel. The Mammoth Mine that attacked us in the ruins. And those Beedro that were chasing Mewtwo. They all had some kind of cube-shaped device attached to them. I think today's the day we look into all that. And you know what we should do to get even more information, right, Tim? Yeah. The way those incidents keep piling up, the police are bound to have started investigating the situation. Right. And the police officer we can trust the most is... Inspector Holiday. We should go talk to him. That's what you're getting at, right, Pikachu? Spot on. By the way, Tim, are you sure you don't want to tell Irene and Sophia about Harry? Not yet. Not until we know exactly where he is. Yeah, good thinking. <clears throat> Dang. Wait, Detainee Pikachu? What? That could not be the title of this arc. <laughs> so wild. Detainee Pikachu. Are they gonna log this up? I think that's a spoiler. Oh no. Okay, well, that concludes, I guess, the second main arc in Detective Pikachu Returns. We've seen our father after nearly two years. We have seen Harry. We still have no more answers than we did yesterday, though. I think that story was fine. Like, it was kind of annoying having to go back and forth within the ruin. I, I like the Amethyst mission more, because I had, like, more people in it. Because, you know, people are more drama. I like reading the dialogue. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, so we'll pick this up next time. Guys, stream isn't over yet. We got to do a calligraphy, because we got a resub. Let's go. So, if you have my right name, I gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. I will be able to stream tomorrow. I'm planning on doing a 9 to 5 stream tomorrow. And I will not leak what the game is unless I get a million prime subs right now. But it'll be a fun game tomorrow. Thank you for your gaming, Kobobo. We love leaks, though. Just because you love something doesn't mean you can have it all the time. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't work. I think the next time I'll play Detective Pikachu on stream might be next week. Because I want to start Halloween streams. Not the final week of October, but the week before. Because Halloween this year is on a Tuesday, I believe. Because I have about six or seven holiday streams planned. Oh, and then Mario Wonder comes out next week? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I will be playing Mario Wonder on launch day if I can get to the store in time. I said this the last time I played Detective Pikachu, but it doesn't encourage much commentary. Like, 
this type of game is better for like a YouTube playthrough than stream content. But I'll still I'll still finish it on stream. Once again, thank you, Kobobo, for the 15-month resub. You are one month away from the Rose Badge, I believe. <clears throat> so thank you, Kobobo, with this prime resub. Let's go. Time to see if you got better at Mario. <coughs> it's a new game. Clearly, I got better. Also, my voice is not fully back yet, so I will not sing a song today, sorry. Don't redeem it. Any other redeemers? Anybody else? Last call. Let's go. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out today. Um, I think the next time I will play Detective Pikachu might be next week, if not after Halloween. We'll see. So I have a good handful of holiday streams planned for Halloween, including an NPC stream. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I will be live again tomorrow with a work sim game, so I'll be streaming from 9 to 5, full shift. Be there. Okay. Um, new YouTube video out. It is which is the best Pokemon mobile game. My best performing video so far, which is wild to me. Hour long video. Go watch it. Put it on the background. And make sure you are following my offline social media. I have a Instagram, TikTok, and a Twitter. Follow all three. If you don't, you're a fake fan. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This game truly does, like, mess up my throat, though. <clears throat> it's a lot of talking. I'll see you guys later. Probably tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.